Yes, we have another minute on that music, you know. But don't worry about that, um, make it play out. Because although I play that music, I'm not fooling myself, you know. Like, I don't think, well, Bob Marley was singing that music more for encouragement, but I think him knows that Babylon is not so soft, you know. And him knows serious re reggae music alone not going burn down Babylon, but, you know, still singing some music of encouragement. I was really going to play, um, Old Pirates. Ah, see him Bob Marley music, you know. One about redemption song. And emancipating yourself. Quoting, quoting from Marcus Garvey. It was so, um, insultive. When you hear the housing trust man, the, what's name? Housing trust man say, him buy out a many. To create an next emancipation park. So insultive. When them look about them business. And, co and so insultive when them come tell you. And next. <clears throat> so them have an emancipation park. And it is, it is very um, widely accepted as an open space in the city. Green space. So people can congregate and um, exercise and keep healthy. And evening time. Even during the day. So them going. Emancipation Park successful, well, them going to have a, sl a slavery park now. Slavery park. So it is. Uh, so you, re you realize um, when you see the, the um, when you see the incompetence, all of the old boy, them old girl, them. Old boy, them old girl, them. Because now our age bracket, you know, we're supposed to more uh, help young people straighten out the place. More than old people, a whole lamp on a uh, whole lamp on the place, whole lamp on the place, and corrupting the place more and more, corrupting the place more and more. Yeah, 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 Jenny Carlson. Apologize for him. Um. Excuse me. Like why apologize, dear? Apologize for him misconduct in the parliament. But I tell you this: you will never hear. You will never hear the PNP and the JLP apologize for the blood, the bloodthirsty culture where them, them build up in a Jamaica. The bloodthirsty culture that they, JLP and PNP, assisted by the CIA and the JLP side and the, the, other, the other old foreign, foreign agents them on the PNP side. That them build up in a Jamaica, especially between the 60s and the 80s. They will never apologize for that. None of them. You never go and hear Portia Simpson Miller. You never go and hear Siaga. You never go and hear PJ Patterson. You never go and hear none of them apologize for the bloodthirsty culture that the PNP and the JLP build up in Jamaica. Especially between the 60s and the 80s. But remember they started building it up from in the 40s. And it's not in the 60s. And it's not now. Siaga and Dudley Thompson started. It's not in the 60s it started. Not Siaga and Dudley Thompson started. But you'll never hear any of them or the party apologize for that. And why I mention that is because. Uh, how easy and acceptable and normal it is for. Us to consume the news every day of the violence and the murder and the rape and the extortion that is normal in Jamaica every day. Normal. I have one government minister supposed to be a star and a female mayor representing a community where a culture of gunmanship which was fostered by them own party of a situation there you now where residents and their constituents the people some of the people who vote for them and some of the and all the people I'm supposed to represent having to be paying extortion to live in their own house and them are both off in the presence of those things and them know intimately they know about it And as other people have been saying, all kind of 
disturbing murders and multiple murders, double murders, triple murders, all kind of murders take place every day, every day, every day. And I made sight because a PNP candidate get murdered a couple days out of a couple days ago out of Wolaba. Buntings they are firing and are sending condolences and warning and all kind of thing about his PNP candidate and worker for the tourist board. Anyway, we know say and that the main thing here is not to be complaining about Babylon but to encourage ourselves how to have the strength and the outlook because the outlook is one of the greatest things now the strength and the outlook to pass through all difficult and pass through all of the pleasant and good things that are still existent in life all of this pleasant good wholesome things that are present in life because that is what predominates you know, over the corruption and the other things and but it is you know you can be tempted to you can be tempted and misled to feel like bad is all and bad dominate anyway uh i'm most interested to discuss with you what you want to talk about. So could you run the numbers, please? For straight up, we have a choice of number. 7637638 nine seven 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 six three eight toll free line 1888991515 toll free 1888991515 digital number 6181823 digital 6181823 straight lines text line 8997657 text line 899 7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com. www.newstalk93fm.com. Yes, yes, and before I got your phone call, by the way, my name is Jerry Small. And before I got your phone call, I just want to yell some of my listeners that uh, heard about their support and enjoyment of the program here. It's a set of brothers and you know, twins. Them call them twins barber. Two brothers who have a, a barber in establishment out here in the Mullion Square area. In the Mullion Square area. I don't spend no money with them because you know, I don't have no much use of a barber. But my grandchildren, especially my grandsons, have been taking care of them from them as baby coming up, you know. The youths are required to have a certain appearance and standard going to school. The twins barbers, them named Peter and Paul by the way, you know, half Mullion's Road. In the Molin Square area, thank you very much for your supporters, listeners of Straight Up. Twins Barber, Peter and Paul. Tell them for me, because the problem is so busy. But good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Great effort of the young black man. Get her out of here, contagious. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Mine. Get, get, no, well, no, no, let's not joke around. It's a virus, you know. We can't fool around. No contamination at all, whatsoever. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Welcome. Morning. Hey, how are you doing? It's a long time. Long time, man. Um, but I'm around, yeah? Yes, glad to know that. Yes, and the gun has passed through, but... Chicken gun, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But it never get me down, eh? How long it's still with you? It's a fairly good while, but I realize it never affect my joints. I only... The muscle and my shoulder. Oh, so you look like you, you never you really get no injuries and sprain your joints when your youth come up? No, man. That, that's why I tell somebody, say, we are rich at age, you know, and thank God because I never get no maturation. Good. But what I call you, if I say to you, yes, sir. tell me something. Mm -hmm. What are that to Kingston Pen? Um, 
and, and, and it's your transport it. I'm not sure, no. I'm sure it's been in use, but um, you remember those regular and scheduled fri- flights from Tinsenpen to Oracle Base and uh, from Tinsenpen to Montgomery. Tinsenpen to Negri. Yeah, yeah. I was listening to um, Senator Brown, you know? Yeah. I your station here last night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me, me soon come. I'm talking to Jerry. Um, I want to tell you this, Jerry. Yeah. I hear him was interviewing Knoxford Express. Man. Oh, yeah. Jerry, our Knoxford Express kill kids and pain, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well... Why, 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 why kill it? Why, what, what give it the ability to kill it? The man, when him start, him start with two of the transport. Yeah. And you know how much him have now? How much? Twenty. Yes, and how it kill things in Ben now? Because the man punctual with him transport and him moving people from point to point. Yeah. And people flock to it because it's a good transport system and I think people prefer it more than in the year too. Yes, because um the things and pen thing coming from the grill, coming from Moby, Wacherios and all them t- places. It's more for the people who um have urgent business and can afford to fly on a plane. Yeah, I think it's a half hour. Yeah. The but only thing is that it it reads fast about this man yeah. In in thing have everything on it. It's a restroom and everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like oh you that man like move on. You know if you try it right time, man. I not try it, me, me pass it. Me, 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 you try use... pass it from the road. No, I use it. I use it several times, all different directions. It's nice. It's good. Reliable, you know. Uh huh. And it, and um them them move on to schedule and them don't move too far from the schedule, you know. No sir, them never have schedule. You understand? Yeah. So really? when I hear it, I say, and the man say, it's to him, at least him least two bus and start, you know. Yeah, yeah. Why, that man have a, did have a plan. Yeah, sir, and no. That's why when man I said, things you can go on if you have the brain to do it. You know? yeah, and decide yeah. if you take a chance. Yeah, man, you have the mind, the mind. Eh. Yeah. Yes, yes, man, me there, man, auntie. Good to know, good to know. You, you're tuning and I follow up things here, man. Yeah, man, me, me never leave you, man. I'll do it when you call me still this, man. Yeah, you know, say I was one of the favorite, one of the uh, favorite call of them. But people yeah, are, man. People are as interested in what you're saying. Yeah, I'm listening to your virgin that to you, know. Who that? But I, I want to walk out of him, thing, you know, I'm not getting from six to nine. Who that? A six to eight, him get now, you know. Who that? Lied. Dagular. Eh, but but you take time to advertise at a, at a station public. No, program. me only I tell you say. Yeah, me, I hear, I hear, I hear you say. But okay. anyway, I'm not seeing you do still, but we're going to charge you next time. All right, all right. So the trick will last longer than a week? No, it, 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 it's about two weeks it takes, you know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and next time you call, I'll tell you some more. Yeah, all right. Uh, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Cherry? Yes, ma'am. Cherry, I rest up far, I hide slash the first. So you get your green, Jerry? You can't ask me that pony here, ma'am. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jerry, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So you don't you you have, you you have your sound in trumpet, ma'am? Huh? You don't have your sound in trumpet. My sound in trumpet? Yes. You know, live a Jamaica long enough, man. Stethoscope we attack. Stethoscope. Okay, Jerry. You know stethoscope? No, Jerry. What is the thing that the doctor hang around him neck and put on ears and put on your heart? Stethoscope. That's why you say you don't know it, ma'am. But it sounded different how you said it. Oh. It, it, it sounded different how you said it, Jerry. Okay, okay. Okay, how keep in, Jerry? I keep free, healthy and free, ma'am. Thank God. I'll never leave you. Oh boy, that is so great. That reassurance is so great. Okay, I'll never leave you, Jerry. But I'm going to go back to 1995. All right. 
Okay, I'm going back to to the uh, meeting Minister Farrakhan had in 1995. Yeah. And, and this topic of the day was to the fathers making all the babies and not caring for the babies. Okay, in America. No, in Jamaica. So you came here in 95? Yes. I thought it was 95 he had the big man in um, America. Okay, I might be mistaken. Come yeah, on, go ahead. Anyway. I might be. But I was there with uh, Muta and Tana. Yeah, Muta and... So when, when he came to the stadium in whatever year that was. Oh, yes, okay, okay. Okay, but... From that 1995... Okay, yes, man. It, 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 came, it came to Jamaica somewhere in about 2002, I believe. No, I wasn't here in 2002. All right, so... I, I left in 2001, so we had to be before that. All right, all right, yes. You came here somewhere? Okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But I would just like to go over some of his messages. He said, reparation from injury or harm. These yeah. are the eight steps of atonement process. I believe I gave them to you before, but we can go over them again. Yeah. Number two is to point out wrong yeah. to, to be made better. Not just to point out wrong and, and hop on wrong, but to make it better. Yeah. Acknowledge wrong, confess wrong, to the person grieved and to God. Repentance, remorse from deed, remorse for deed, and atonement actual, forgiveness, heartfelt acceptance, reconciliation, and perfect union with God and man. Yeah. So those were the steps. But you see, Terry, he said something about the hair and the nails, and putting it in the drawer, and when you get in bed, you don't know if you're supposed to get in bed or if you're supposed to get in the drawer. You mean the ladies with the falls here? Yes, Jerry. Yeah. But, but you see, what he's talking about is the money spent. The money, but not the, not the, but not the vanity and the, and the, the, the falls. No, Jerry, the money that is being spent on these hair and on these nails to the Koreans. Okay, let's go for a break and come back. News Talk 93 FM. Heard everywhere. The time on News Talk 93 FM is 9.30. Jamaica on New Star 93 FM. So tune in every Thursday, 4 30 in the afternoon with Carolyn Cooper and Tian Robinson. And you think you're gonna get to listen then? Catch it again every Saturday, 3 30 in the afternoon. Big things are going The program will look on the things we are going in a full country in a full language. Tune in to News Talk 93 FM weekdays from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. for Prime Time's leading current affairs program, The, the Evening Edition. Edition. Join host Lambert Brown on Monday to Wednesday and Garfield Higgins on Thursdays and Fridays as they boldly tackle the topical issues of the day, the, the News Talk way. That's The Evening Edition on News Talk 93 FM. Real news, real talk, heard everywhere. Join News Talk 93 FM this and every Sunday at 2 p.m. for On Campus, a weekly snapshot of happenings and highlights from the Mona Campus of the University of the West Indies. Tune in at 2 p.m. on Sundays as we explore groundbreaking events, trailblazing trends, and interesting personalities from the UWI Mona Campus. Inspiring excellence, producing leaders. That's On Campus, a weekly snapshot here on News Talk 93 FM.
Centre for Tourism and Policy Research at the University of the West Indies, Mona, invites you to a public lecture entitled Cashing In on the Booming Global Film Business, a Film Industry for the Caribbean, on Thursday, November 6 at 5 p.m. at the Faculty of Law Lecture Theatre on UA Mona Campus. Join Garfield Higgins on the evening edition as News Talk 93FM brings you live coverage from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Tune in and explore your potential possibilities in the emerging film industry. The Business of Film is our agenda on the evening edition this Thursday, November 6 on News Talk 93FM. Heard everywhere. News Talk 93 FM, heard everywhere. Yes, good morning. <coughs> Welcome back. We have, a, we have another minute, ma'am. Hello? She's still there? She's not there? Yeah, she was talking about um, Farrakhan... But there was something that I wanted to ask her again. What was it? She looked like she gone. Anyway, good morning. Not there. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yeah, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning. Welcome. Straight Up. Hello? Where are you? Yes, sir. How are you? Morning, morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I was telling, say, telling you, sir, man, I said, you're no cop, I wish you um, with some people. Yeah. When about what? Nineteen sixty one when America England opened. My twin brother will follow me. When England opened? When them died we could cool people go to England. Oh. Yeah. So um my brother what are them say to England and scared Jimmy because right and um my money they were never about anything. So we go to Gibraltar be in Anatobia they were history in Gibraltar. Yeah. Because from Kin. Yeah. We went out to Anatobia for Pound a month. Yeah. So a big chain piece over here. So you have chain piece name number five with the Pan Four George Road. A pure coach, you know, the bean coach, him, be yeah. big. So, about four cane could have come and attack, you know, um, not, not attack, a control, we say, we must go down and look at the cane for him, and we pay more money for that one, but coach is there. Mm. So, I'm still my life about a day and a half, nearly, nearly two days, you know, that evening. We walk around everywhere, Jerry, we go in the cane piece, cut out clean, 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 clean. Yeah. Everybody have back up in the cane, they feel like I'm dry cane. The head man called me now from here, because one and all, cost me and this and that, and tell me about, I'm here to have a nice different fish strike and things, so what do you say? So what do you think about grazing? Yes, sir. I went from number five to grazing about a mile and a half. Mm. Yes, sir. Not even a mile and a half, about a mile. All right, and... Well, anyway, and we did not talk and talk, and... The cane piece cut off, and we now have one piece, and the cane piece we do, you know. Well, me and kick off now, and um, me leave it that now. And we go start by ourselves, and we'll um, be back up the morning and go away. Yeah, we walk over the district, yeah. and by ourselves, and we'll get out of the cell, we'll we were King Wister, uh, Lynch, that a part that sent me with this. Near, near to St. Andrew, uh, and tell me. King Wister up near the hill? No, yeah, when well, um, from St. Me we to um, cross the hill, you know, you go, you go time to West, uh, yeah, yeah. and go up and go cross, you can walk, you have to go to buy it, to come in and, Yeah. Yeah. So, I started buying a silk from that. So, he do good for me. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, you do that instead of migrate? No, well, me, my intent to migrate. Me, you sir, I got to tell you, I'm 77, I mean, I have a passport. Oh. Him, the same one down for me, no? Yeah. Down for me, so get a passport, you want to give me a free trip. He come out and say, well, Mr. I'm not going to wait in a plane. Eh? I'm not a passport, you know. I'm going to get a passport for my wife within three days. Oh, yeah? My, my wife, a co-worker, don't have, she would then you talk her food. Don't be sad, bro, you have to cross the road, eh? Yeah. yeah. And me, me have a police when you talk her immigration. Mm. Police. And he said, well, you know, I'm going to visit. No, Mr. I'm not going to I'm not going to passport, bro, Jerry. Yeah. Maybe be coming my feet ten years old. Yes. And me see coming to that yes old. Anyway. Oh yes. Keep on listening. All right. Thank you very much, here, no sir. No problem, yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Next one. Straight Up. Hello. Yeah. Come on. Come along now, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Straight Up. Hello. Yes, Mr. Small. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? Everything all right? Yes, sir. Oh, your last lady car sound like Olivia Newton-John. Sound like what? Olivia Newton-John. Oh, you know say she, man? No, she sound that way, sir. Yes, yeah, she's the same one. You see the same one? Yes, sir. 
I just see him telling me that I said, if you, if you think she need her, you have to come over, come, come on over. Come on over, yes. Yes. Well, you're a spy power. You mean that? Yes, I mean. Anyway, you mentioned the CIA and them thing there. Mm. And the political violence in Jamaica. Yeah. But the CIA and the other one, how you call me, you never know, mentioned a name. Them, them that may be in the early 70s, them that the community. Remember, the political party, the violence more from far forward was, was more or less local, local based, you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and the SM is now it step up in the Cold War and them start them start supply more arms different from what man are, when man are import themselves. Be, be, yeah, because I can't to, to, to Miss Manley. That that's Miss Miss but she not Edna Manley, I should have said mistress. Bev Manley. No, sir Edna Manley. Mr. said that Norman Manley is wife man. Yeah. You know, her wife, her yeah. Man called, uh, I can't do her. No, she, she claimed that, that there was some understanding between him, Buster Manti and, and Norman Manley. Yeah. That, that, that never, the, the, the type of threatening rhetoric, them kind of, they kind of minimize it, put the team, keep those rhetoric to, to a certain minima, minimum, you know. Yeah. I, I can't she, it can't, you know, Michael Manley and, and Shira. Yeah. Uh, some people even say that Mr. Mr. Sh- Manley went out of the day for Mr. Shira to retain his seat in 1972. Yeah. You could, you could ask Mr. Yusman if I choose. Well, them would, do it, yeah, them, them, them would do them kind of thing for them one, yes. Yeah, but, but then claim say when, when, when Mr. Shira left the, the, the leadership of the Labour Party, you know, all, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose? Yeah, so, so they, 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 they say and they and everything and they, everything and they, 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 they type of rhetoric, you know, everybody like, you know, so, so, understand, understand, kind of match up. So why, why Shira did leave the leadership? Why right, Mr. Chira leave, leave the leadership? Yeah. Mr. Chira ne- ne- never had, you know, in terms of that leadership, like, you know, he never saw blood thirsty for, for the leadership, for the leadership. You know, some people blood thirsty more than some. No, um, so he was the leader already, so he would not have a blood thirsty. He was the leader, but why him leave it? I mean, to retain it. You know, like, like people put themselves out of the way for retaining it. You know, you know, you know, it's going to the labor part. Right. And they might blame Buster Majesty, but I wouldn't blame Buster Majesty. Then, um, the, then the JLP and Siaga now say Shira did too soft for angle, um, for, for angle Michael and socialism. That's what they think. That's what they think. So Shira never too soft for angle? No, I, I saw them thinking. No, I, I am asking and, you. You, you know, say, uh, we're going to we went on at the 70s, political age, we're going to be No, you're going to, listen up. People, he'd respond to. Listen here now. Listen here, you're trying to avoid us discussing things point by point. I, I am saying, that wasn't it true that Shira was too soft for Angle Michael and the socialism of the PNP did come with? That wasn't true. You share that view? I said that, no, I said he was too soft for that. And so say, you share that view? Hold on, he was too soft for that and say I got push him away because say I got say him tough and he would have get enough support and deal with them the right way. Mr. Shira was not a fighter like, 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 like Mr. That Wayne means him too soft. Then the next okay. thing now. You remember when Michael said, oh, our steel? You remember when Michael said, our steel is tougher than your steel? Our steel, what, sir? You can't, you can't. Mr. Small? Yeah, you can't remember nothing at all, man. Mr. Small? Mm. You, you, you know that Mr. Michael was not a radical per se. Probably yeah, he had the lyrics of a radical, you know. Ah, uh, for true revolution. Michael Manley is more, more a, reef, a social democrat, right? Yeah, Michael Manley is a revolutionary. Yeah, so when he use all the words, say he intend to walk hand in hand with Chapter of the Mountain Top. Those those were just pure rhetoric. And then never, you know, you know, like them boys that say he was doing. Yeah, yeah. And never see us like a man like Bernard Cardal. Cord. Cord. Bernard yeah. Cord. I I I, I said Bishop never serious enough neither. Bishop wasn't the man who had the power of Grenada, it was Mr. Cardin, I should even call him because I didn't hear him still, but anyway, I'm not calling him for nobody. So therefore, it, it, it was Siaga was a real rough house, he the, the Labour Party and not, and not Sheridan. No, so if, if, if Mr. Melman is here too, if, 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 if they the understand that they can't even read Mr. Manley and Mr. Siaga, probably would not, so, 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 so the economy wouldn't drop, so you know, because they would probably drop in the same season, you know. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, one, yeah, one, one, come in. one thing about you though, you don't like to discuss things point by point, because you don't, you don't come with your mind set already on certain things. Set. Anyway, you take care. Yes, yeah, you're an idiot still, but you're not really a complaint. Hello?
I'm still listening, Mr. Smog. You're not complaining. Anyway, you take care, man. We talk next time. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, you know? Yeah, good morning. Yes, sir. Where are you there? Ah, uh, here, yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. Are you, are Anyhow. Are they underground? Ah, uh, no, man. Above board. Oh, above board. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Anyhow, yesterday I hear that uh, Ralston Iman says that the primary surplus should be reduced to 6%. Yeah. Well, this man I hear him say should be reduced to 5% or 5.5% of GDP. Yeah. Because in order for the government to achieve the primary surplus, what it is doing is cut, it, cutting back on expenditure because you have reduction in taxation so you don't have increased productivity. So instead of you stimulating the economy, what you are doing is compressing it. And that is why we are in this predicament. But you notice a uh, couple of years back, you hear what Mr. Patterson said? What? You can't pass all the IMS test. But if you don't show economic growth, you can't burst the tape. <laughs> so yeah. that's what is happening. Yeah. You're passing the test by using uh, Houdini economics and Bandolo accounting. But at the same time, you don't have any economic growth. Yeah. So they're not going to burst it yet because I hear Mr. Ayman says that Obama is a lame duck president. Mm -hmm. But Obama not going back saying can be lame for the next two years. Yeah. But maybe in, in Jamaica now the one that is aspiring to face the electorate is a fit person in terms of health. But the economic performance is so disastrous that they can prepare for a crushing defeat by the green men. You believe so? No, I believe so. I know that, man. All right, let's go the for a break. Economic physics here at the PNP. Yeah. Right no, now, no, hold on. Let's go for a break. Hello. No, hello. 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 Hello, let's go for a break and come back. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. I think, I think that um, last caller didn't hear that I was saying to him, let us take a break, you know. And I think him, uh, him hung up the phone. But I want to ask him a question. I was very interested to hear him answer. Hope him can call back. Long time I know hear from him. Jam Intel. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? Yes. Well, I want before I make my contribution to say I want to make this statement that, you know, um, over the last 50 years, we have two parties that have taken turns in religious country. They have what? Uh, we have two parties. Yeah. That have taken turns in religious country. Taking turns, yeah. Yes. The problem is you see, we never had a precedent, so we can have to compare them as if it were if they did, if they had not existed. Yeah. Therefore, my view is we have come to this part that we have come to learn to, to accept is that we have just work with them, you know. You know, work with them because you know, there is no alternative so to speak uh, there is no practical alternative as yet being chosen. So we have that we have as well we work with the people, the GLP and they are false, they have weakness, they are strength. So we as a nation need to just be um, active, politically conscious, and work with them. Tell me and something. That tell, we should find tell, me, tell me something now. Yeah. Why is it that um, in the electoral system that is popular around the world, that um, people call it democracy? Yeah. Why is it that it, um, it's usually two dominant parties that usually share in um, authority between them, alternating from time to time? Why is it? Well, um, it is, it don't, you know, it, 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 that it has to be so. We chose, they chose this, this way. In fact, I hear people say that we should not vote. See, no, no, please, hello, please. Let, let us address it to question that I raised, no man, instead of Yeah, vote. you say why? I say it's not in Jamaica alone, it's all around the world, mostly. Yeah. And for hundreds of years now, the usual pattern is that two parties dominate the, the electoral political system. Don't you recognize there's a thing in yeah. most most countries around the world? Yes. Why why is it so? The two is better than two, baby. No, it does talk no, hear me now. Your voice not so plain, so talk like a little slower that took care of you. What you what you say? What you say this? Two two is better than two, baby. Two is, no, that is just a little sign, saying, that's a poetic saying, but we could get down to the sense. There must be something behind it, you know, there must be some reason. 
All right, well, I have not given the deep thoughts as to why our politics has taken this kind of you know, pattern. Yeah. However, I believe that um, you know the origin of the two cousins in terms of our party and how they, they marginalized back of the people's political party. You know that, right? Yeah. Good. And the people bought it. Therefore, it is we have to correct it if it needs to be corrected. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Right. The main part, though, I want to talk about is the disintegrity that why is it that they are just advocating for tax, paying taxes? If you are supposed to be for integrity, the NHC issue is a concern. Um, it's a trust. And it's a people's body that you, 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 you have no choice. Once you work in Jamaica, it is deducted and contributed toward the trust. We have several months ago. What is he saying about this, uh, Mr. Mr. No, Mr. The, the, the integrity is thing. It's a, it's a, a set of people working towards that because it's going to provide some jobs for them. But I, I do have enough time. I do have enough time can go in it because... Can you call him? Eh? If I can, can call, him? call him? No. Well, maybe, maybe, but I'm not going to promise him. But look here, uh, call, call him back okay. after 11 o'clock. Now we'll get a little more time can go in it. Take care, but take care. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Street Up, hello. Morning. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Good morning and welcome to straight up. Leave your phone, leave your radio alone, please, and just answer, answer, please. Good morning. Try the next one, please. Good morning and welcome to straight up, hello. Good morning, welcome to straight up, hello. Yeah, what's going, Jerry? Welcome, sir. What's going? Yeah, it's on. We, when we're waiting on the line, you know, we yeah. cannot hear where the caller is saying, we cannot hear what you're saying because the line is so low. Well, Will so the engineer turn up the, 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 the line? I'm so sorry about that. I don't know. I don't know if we we'll see what we can do about that. Yeah, yeah man. A, a long time ago, you're jamming till I'm glad to hear him. Yeah? I wonder if me am under the sea. I, I was a foreign. Him saying was above board. Eh? <laughs> which board is me above? I don't know. Okay. Well, tell me all this, I said, warm to drum in jail. Yeah. I never hear him. Yeah. I'm glad to hear him still around, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give thanks. All right, nice, nice. Good morning, next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good yeah, morning. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. You know, may I ask you, um, how, how, how are them called Selvis? Call what? Selvis. Selvis? Pelvis, I, I, part of the human body. Pelvis, oh, pelvis. Yeah. All right, you know your hip bone? Ah, okay. No, the hip bone not just part of it, you know, a two hip you have. So ah, same, same. Well, I, I want, well, it's, 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 the pelvis is a, is a huge arm. I think it's the biggest single, and it might be more than one bone joint together, but it's, a, it's the biggest single arm bone, bone structure in your body. Ah, okay. Um, and, and, the, the, the backbone that, that, that lead from your skull go yeah. down to the base of your back. Yeah. It, 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 it anchor down in the back of the pelvis. Okay. And then now your two leg bone anchor in the side of the pelvis. Same. And then now certain your lower organs including your genitals and all them things there is protected by that pel pelvic girdle. You know, it's like a girdle. Ah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Just like how, it, just like how the, the rib cage protect the heart and the lungs. Yeah, yeah. The same. pelvis is like a lower cage. We protect okay. the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I'm here all the time and I talk how people maybe broke them pelvis and stuff. I wonder what that, you know? Yeah, and it's one of the, it's one of the bone where, when you break, that is how, I want to show you, especially when you're in a older age, breaking the pelvis can, can mean the end of your life, even though it's a bone. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, man, a serious thing. Yeah, anyway, Jerry, um, you know, say, um, we believe in a, in a democracy like Switzerland, because America, England, and a democratic country, you know. America and England. Yeah. Yeah, they are. a more democratic country than them, you know. Well, that is my understanding, too. Yeah, because Switzerland are the people set the law, you know. The only law the government can deal with are like, if they must go war or so, they must go decide that. But otherwise, are the people decide the, the rules. Yeah, the people participate in, 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 in selection and um, 
decision far more often and regular. In yeah, man. Um, I, I only bought maybe about I just couple things the government alone can do because um, the people set all the other um, law and rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, the government can't get up and say, well, tomorrow we're here, you know, because the people that want to have them mad, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Something like that, you should have, but the problem is the education. I was just, going, I was just going to say to you, you now, so it's people like you, little, little, and even after a while, plenty, plenty, can start to familiarize people with those ideas and make people know that things are possible. You see it? Anyway, um, me and Jam until a while ago, so big him up still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, and Jerry, go on with this work, I sure go on good, you know? Well, thank you very much, here, sir. Yeah, man, easy, anyway. All right, next call. Good morning, and uh, welcome to Straight Up, you know? Hey. Go, yes, welcome, sir. Yeah, man, Mon Jerry? Yes, man, oh, all right, I okay. think. Yeah, man, morning, how you doing? Fine, thank you, ma'am. Okay, the, um, I listen, you know, when I talk to the... There uh, are two callers before about the um, democracy, and then this man um, mentioned something about it as well. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I read where there's a U.S. Supreme Justice named Louis Brandeis, I think. Brandeis, Brandeis, Brandeis yeah. right. And him say that you can have democracy, yeah. or you can have great wealth concentrated in the hands of a few. Yes. But you can't have both. Right. I That's would... how him say. Yes, yes, it is so, sense. Yes, it is sense, Nate, though. Yeah, so no democracy no exists. I mean, when, when we talk in Jamaica, now we have a two political party and one win, and we say, well, are the people vote them in, and you say it's a democratic yeah. know, elected um, yeah. um, government. Yeah. Not no, sir. Right? Because great wealth is in the hands of a few. Them get a party. The great wealth. Them go yeah. around with the money and them die out vote. Yeah. Right? And them, the little people, them glad for the money and then them vote. Yeah. And then when them win now, them say, yeah, man, the people vote win and we win. Yeah. But when you take it out after them win now, who them represent? All them do them can them. All. We want the road to fix. Yeah. We want this, we want that. Yeah. But are the people them who did give them the money so them could have it go out, go buy the vote, are them them represent. Yes, and them. money talk. And them them do things for. And are them them do things for. So tell me something now. So justice, Brandy, Brandy is right. Yeah. So tell me something now. Yeah. Do you think or do you not think that it is possible and likely that human beings can sit down and work out better method of representation than, than the present? Most definitely. All right. Which, which direction you kind of believe them changes would have going on? Mr. Lowe, one of the biggest downfalls right so humanity right now mm. is one system when i'm going the money system yeah but but right? before be, uh, and, look yeah, here outside yeah, of right. outside of discussing that right? i still wanted to give me some hints about which direction changes right. need people, to go people have to collaborate instead of compete right you can't compete because everybody different everything different one morning me here um 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 what a little on the first morning program name again the politician on hip with with yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. All right, she was talking about the coffee, right? The coffee in Jamaica had the best coffee according to her in the world. I'm a laugh, right? Because she said, boy, the style type and everything different and all of that. Mm. But yet still, but yet still, we, 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 our coffee not really um, doing all that very well. There are other coffee who, you know, the competition kind of, you know, uh, allow our coffee not to do very well. You get what I'm saying? And why that is so? Competition includes a lot of stuff, you know, because you have to try if you, Suppress your, your competitor product in order for your products to do good. But you know, so you try, you know, so hello, ma'am. Eh? I try and allow you to express yourself and talk about it, but you're still, mm. you're still not help me for. So, oh, make a done, no, man. Yeah. You're still not helping me to demonstrate to the people listening to you yeah. that there is ways that we can work out better form of representation. Are, what we're going to do, just give, we're just going to give up. Two collaboration, we have to do it. No, just one, can't be just one sentence, man. Think, think about these things that make we come discuss, because people need to learn from you, you know. Because obviously you will read and you understand. Not true? Quickly. All right, I have to go. Uh, no, I really have to go for the news here. Yeah? Call me back and think about these things and call me back. Human Rights Lobby Group Jamaicans for Justice says its 15 years of work has been severely undermined 
by the controversy surrounding its introduction of a sexual education program in six children's homes. JFJ says there was never any attempt to keep the program secret as it was well publicized in the media and through its own newsletter even before the program became shrouded in controversy. It further adds that the information provided was appropriate for the life experiences, exposure and level of risk of the targeted group of children. The JFJ says the greatest long-term consequence of the controversy, however, has been the loss of a valuable education program designed to be more to more adequately protect children most at risk for teen parenthood and infection with HIV or other sexually transmitted infections. Calls have been made for the board of the National Housing Trust, NHT, to be relieved of their duties. This follows their acquisition of the Trelawney-based Outermany attraction. According to lobby group Citizens Action for Principle and Integrity, CAPI, the acquisition contravenes the National Housing Trust, NHT Act of 1979. The NHT acquired Outermany for $180 million and plans to spend more than $100 million to upgrade the facilities. The trust projects a loss of $16.6 .6 million in its first year of operating the attraction. Cappy says by their decision, the members of the board have breached their fiduciary responsibilities and have failed to be responsible, judicious and prudent in the management of contributors' funds. And the Republicans have won control of the Senate in the U.S. midterm elections, increasing their power in the final two years of Barack Obama's presidency. The Republicans also increased their grip on the House of Representatives and now control both chambers of Congress for the first time since 2006. Republican Senator Mitch McConnell said the result was a vote against the government people can no longer trust. Obama is to hold a press conference later today. He has already invited congressional leaders from both parties parties to the White House for talks on Friday. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm in the second hour of the program, you know. My name is Jerry Small and it's News Talk 93 FM. And uh, we'll go back to your phone call. Uh, very interesting to hear that lady, last caller, call back and discuss these things further. Well, maybe she needs some time to think more about it. But we must never despair. Oh, it is her. I, I think we have her back. We must never despair about our situation. We despair about the situation. You reconcile yourself to it. You resign yourself to it. And you say, no better, no dead. You're in, I, I, um, this, is, this is not the way to go. This is not the way to go. We must be able to work out better ways. And after we work it out, we must be able to bring them about. By the hook or the crook. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, well, I'm still here. Welcome back. Right. I, I was saying, um, in the Bible, right? Yes, ma'am. When um, when the 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 ruler Egypt did have a dream and Joseph interpreted the dream about the seven year of famine and the seven year of plenty. Right? Yeah, yes, yes. And in my point, Joseph as prime minister of Egypt. Yes. And jo you know what Joseph did. To, to be able to bring about the, the plenty that, that Egypt eventually enjoyed so that they could sell corn and what have you to the rest of the world. Yeah. What Joseph did was to engage all of the skill sets of the Egyptian people them at the time. Yeah. And them create plenty. Right? What we love to do is create scarcity. Come on, one time you talk about scarcity, you know. Scarcity is a mechanism where fuel profit. You know what I mean? If something scarce, when supply and demand takes it. Right? Yeah. The, 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 the scarce <coughs> item I got sell for plenty of money. And yeah. one, one or two men all get rich and everybody is poor and the people suffer because you don't have the goods and supplies. You understand me? So all we need to do is create abundance. Stop work for money but work for, for goods. Hold on a little. What you're saying is not foolishness at all. Let us go slow because people need to be able to follow you. Sometimes you're talking something sensible and people hearing you but they can't follow you because what, when you're going along the way explaining, sometimes them lost themselves. Them see the thing explaining now. Mm -hmm. But them lost themselves. Them not see themselves in a it, although you explain it. Mm -hmm. So when you say... Joseph, in a No, it. no, not, I don't want to go back to Joseph. Yeah. When you say create abundance and all those ways. Yeah. 
Yeah. The people want to see themselves in there. Who must create abundance? We the people. Exactly. Right? Okay. We well, how, yes. Okay. okay. Let's take it slowly. Yeah. Are you not talk, You are not talking foolishness. Yeah. But for people to follow you, let us take it slowly. We the people must create abundance. How? Give me an example of how we, more than one of us together. Remember, the whole of us can't come together in a one workplace, you know. No. Uh, all of us not going to come together in a one field for we plant up the field there. Or mm -hmm. going a one fishing boat for go for go catch a whole life fishing I see. Mm -hmm. But we together now, give me some little examples of how we can create abundance. Or right. we, may, maybe we have to keep some meeting, but we have to do act after that. Not just meeting, act, action after go on. All right, go on, go on. First thing we have to remember, and bear, bear, you know, bear in mind at all times, is that variety is a spice of life. Variety. Variety is a spice of life, right? Mm. And everybody has different talents and different things that they can do. Yeah. Because, as I say, in, in Egypt, you have, you have the, the chemists where you have to make sure they can create the right environment to store the food where, where they're going to plant so it can last for seven years. Yeah. You have the plumber where you have to do plumbing work to make sure they have water for water the, the crop. Yeah. Right? You have, you, have, you have the architect where you have to build the storehouses yeah. for the con. Yeah. In other words, every skill set has to come together and work towards creating abundance. So yeah, but in, in that time... Be, um, as I say, variety is the spice of life, right? So people are build houses, people are plant agriculture, people are do, you know, um, um, build road, people are... What, all of us are going to benefit from it collectively. No, but listen, no, have, listen, yeah. listen. Yeah. I agree and I believe what you say right you now, but we have to talk it in ways that people can follow us. In the time of Egypt, yeah. how it was that um, the architect was able to design the building that can store the food, mm -hmm. and the chemist was able to work out the best um, chemistry system that made the food not spoil, mm -hmm. and the plumber was able to work out the irrigation. Mm -hmm. How that came about was that one family, I want clique of people that control the whole of Egypt and they have the whole of the resources that them control could pay the architect or feed them meanwhile they're working on that thing could pay the plumber or could feed them and could pay the irrigation man and feed them and therefore they got all the plan together to work because they had all of the money and them direct it now in this time now we are the same set of money men is still together you know ma'am and the same set of monuments still click up together, but they're doing things on behalf of themselves. What well, can I well, do? Well, 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 you are helping us, you know, by showing, say, the rest of the people can break out of that yeah. by coming together. Yeah. But they have to practice the coming together in a, some smaller groups so that it, to make it work. You yourself have to go get some practice working along with other people and make something work. You agree that that practice is going to be necessary? Yeah, man, I don't have a problem with that, you know. Because I work all the time, I'm going to work for money. But the yeah. people, them, the fact is, I benefit because I get, me, you know, me able to eat something. Yeah. Me able for, you know, I mean, the, the, when we look back in at them time, they, I, you think that paper money did exist where the people, them, not work for money, so them could have paid the plumber, paid the architect, paid the, 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 the chemist, or what have you. I don't think so. No, them are different means, right. them are different means of paying. And, you know, different means of paying. We used to, but the biggest problem today, Jerry, Jerry, as I said, are the money thing, because guess what? There is never enough money. No, there listen, is a lot listen. There's enough money, you know, but there's enough because it is always scarce. Hello, 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 hello. You want to, you want to make some practical headway? Yeah. You do or you don't? Yeah, man. All right, well, have you identified any community anywhere in the world that has, start, has made a start, a start of progress in the way that you admire? That's not a big problem because... No, just tell me yes or no if you have seen... No, I any because... Well, all right, let us search. About no, hear me no. Well, no. Yeah. So let us start a search then. Yeah. That we can find some of the communities or some of the cities or some of the countries in the world that have started to make this move. And make us start study them. So, me, me and you, we not can start search out them thing there? We don't think you're going to find that. So, therefore, so we have to go make it for the first then? Then, but because guess what? If no, just tell me yes or no. Hold on. I can't it. spend the whole month. I cannot spend the. I cannot. I cannot spend the whole morning. Yeah. Listen here. Yeah. I cannot spend the whole morning on the phone call with you. Yeah. Me know that. So hear this now. So yeah. we have to go and do some homework. Since I said there is no country that start to do those things or no community, we have to start do it then. We have to start do it. All right, there. next time we talk some more because I can't spend the whole day on your phone call, even though it is so interesting. 
Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. <coughs> morning, morning, Jerry. <coughs> welcome, sir. Um, couple things, but to add to that discussion, dear. Yes, sir. Regin earlier did mention Fitzala. Yeah, and the lady mentioned it a while ago, too. And then you have Holland, too. Yeah. Uh, look here, there is this saying that all politics is local, you know. Yeah. So one of the things where we need to start look for. Talk up, talk later. One of the things where we need to start look for. Yeah. In Jamaica. Yeah. Is every parish develop it, it local politics? Yeah. This thing where we are full of ourselves about national politics and two parties. Every parish can have its own party, you know. And look into itself with its own leadership. Yeah. But I want to tell you about something we are going down in Zambia. Yeah. The president of Zambia dead the other day from a mysterious illness, dead in England. Yeah. Yeah. Then you find, say, him vice president was a white man. In Zambia? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. He's a white man. So he him the acting president, they know. Him, that man born and grew in Zambia? Him born and grew there, but his parents come from Scotland. Oh. They don't know, say, yesterday him fired the leader of the party. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But him can't run in the election, you know, because Zambia constitution no allow anybody where them parents don't burn and grow the earth for run. Oh. But yesterday, him fired the leader of the party and the people, they match with him, say, no, you look like you sick. How you for do that? Especially upon the day when the funeral for the president was just dead at you. You're mad. Uh-huh. So I'm for real, I'm back. Oh. oh. Yeah. So you see him in tension? Oh, you mean? They, oh, you mean? They, but, but you see, you see, we black people to have some intention around. Uh, how a man I go have a white vice president? Okay. No one can go dead in England. And when you check a shot now, he's a white man at the acting president. It's not the man of him, you know. It's the whole country and the party. There's a party allow them thing there, you know. What, 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 them, what them up to? Yeah. And, and we're not talking about on the basis of skin color, but we are talking about on the basis of where this man come from. Yeah. Where him come from? Well, him, him born him, there. Him, him yes, but him just come there. And then yeah. now, um, him likely to turn the things in a direction that suits him. Yes. And not the, the heritage of the African people in Zambia. Yeah, well, he might try that yesterday, but them put a hard to it. Well, that's yes. great. All right, thanks a lot, dear sir. Yes. Good morning, and um, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Next call. Hello? Yes, good welcome. morning. Welcome, sir. Good morning. Yeah, man, good morning. Yes, sir. Walk go on, walk on. Ah, me there. Me I'm not too many at all more, so me listen every day, man. Yeah, that, I'm glad for that. Yeah, so bless up yourself, man. See ya? Thank you very much. I me I hear look but and uh, will, so man. Them two man, I'm like when I run joke with them, man. Then can't take it, you know? Oh. <laughs> so they got but and will, so. All yeah. right. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, this topic, me ask a question why two parties show the world all you that dominate more than the rest of the party, then. Yes, yes. My little common sense tell me, you know, really, Check it out throughout the rest of the country, but Jamaica where I live. My little one come and send tell me, say, see? Yeah. All right, if it's an independent, I've got to put up the run, right? Yeah. The only way I see to say, one of them can come out, you see, they have to have 63 candidates just like the rest of the two major parties, them. Yeah. Because when my little boy, I know, I always hear me say, 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 Chuck, if you put in a one man, they don't even win. I know him at the government, see, me? So, is that why most of the people in the party kill up, you know, you know, I look on part more than now. Yeah. They're my little one win. Yeah. yeah they, you see that 60 more pack more than 63? Yeah. So my common sense tell me, say, should just show them just a coming down like one candidate around two candidates. So most of people say, but if they even win, you know, you know, it's not okay too long for them for me. People say they have to come with 63 just like the rest of them. Just yeah. like the two major ones. Yeah. And it's not easy to come, well, each um, constituents in the island, mm -hmm. the community can provide candidates from inside the community yeah. but it is not likely 
it is not easy for each mm. community, each one of the constituency, to link yeah. up with other constituencies around the island and say, let us all have people from our constituency ro um, running and representing us. So because it takes time and it's not so easy for each constituency to link up with all the other constituencies, the yeah. people never stay one place and group up and yeah. have enough money and yeah. send out to the yeah. constituencies and send out money to help people and constituencies. Those yeah. people are going to have more influence because them group up together, them organize now one plan and them have money. So they yeah. will, they will usually dominate the people them come from outside come dominate the community. So that is what the GLP and the PNP specialize in and most of the big parts in the world come from outside come dominate the constituency. Yeah. And, and help somebody in there with their money and yeah. the per, and the personal work for them but it, it is not the end of the road you know. people yeah. people yeah. people can go and work out something new so people must yeah. yeah. people mustn't give up but yeah, yeah. Look, look here again no? and to me you see you see like the journalists and find where the people where well, the people will well, well know them and then with it and we choose some time and might say well no 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 take part in a fight because it's a person people have used to be a person they know well and say no sir I just have to do what I do. But yeah. most of the time, I say no people with the power radio will be well known in. It has put up and form a party. Things that have changed to you know. Yes. But, um, yes, but usually, by the way, uh, most people, the journalists, are the power radio, and them here. Yeah, yeah. People but, read uh, news, news, yeah, yeah, yeah. people, them and them here. The people with them will be known in, you know, because people see yes. on TV and Yes, yes, yes but, it, yes, but here it is now. Because yeah. of, because of the amount of money, that it is usually necessary to have to campaign all over our country. Yeah. It is not something that just happen overnight. And that is why usually the poor in a country and the weak, it, yeah. them usually have to wait until things get very bad and a big explosion take place before them, before them um, experience some freedom. And sometimes it can still go bad because... The bad man come in, come take over the explosion. But thank you very much. Let's talk again soon. Yes, sir. Yeah, my respect, my respect, respect. Yes, sir. Uh, good, good, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, welcome. Straight Up. Um, let's read some text messages. Bless Jerry. I want to send a shout out to my uncle, Booth, who is a lawyer listener who works at the KPH. For over 30 years, Jerry, continue to do the teaching. I am at work here in Atlanta. Log in. Well, thank you very much for that. Person really takes this from foreign. Yeah, man, I'm about uncle named Boo to work at the KPH for over 30 years. Welcome for that also. Next one, Jerry. It looks like um, Eddie Siaga link Andrew with a good Obia man. Everything going right for him on the JLP. You really think so? Ah... Uh, Next one, Jerry. Mine is not what? Mine is not just because it's PNP why bunting a ball out about the about the man killing. About the man killing uh, the man in a in a in Old Harbor. Man named Phillips. Well, tell me what else it is. Next one. Morning, Jerry. You must explain the mystery of Babylon. Let I give you a little insight. Some of the persons who who we hear a fight against Babylon, they are a part of Babylon. Yeah, could you name out some for me? I welcome your the text messages. Um, name out some of them for me. Next one, happy birthday to Claudia. Why are the words called Shanik and Ronald Clarendon? Greetings from her friend Gerald in, Bra in Brayhead. Well, that is Claudia White, otherwise known as Shanik. Her birthday today, you know, in Ronald Clarendon. At a near Milk River. Greetings from Gerald in Brayhead. Next one, brother Jerry, just wanted to know that the Ocherius bus park is the worst run bus park in Jamaica and police doing nothing to regulate it. Yeah, I hear that um I hear that the people them even not so feel though so safe to go in there. Sometime even during the middle day. Next one, Jerry glad to hear Jamin tell, but his voice sound weak. Yeah, I true. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up, hello. Hello, Jerry. Yes, sir, welcome. Oh, I just want. Well, what? Uh, you know, um, I just wanted to mention that um, night before last, Damien Crawford made a statement. Yeah. That made me immediately begin to fret about Ebola. Yeah. Yeah. He said, well, I can't quote him there exactly, but he was saying that 
Oh, since America and England are already gateways to control, to, to monitor um, persons that might have Ebola. Yeah. And since they have to, persons have to pass through England and America to come to Jamaica. Yeah. Something like that, to that effect. Therefore, we don't really, we, we can't monitor like them. They're the greatest monitors, you know, so we don't need to set up our own real highfalutin Ebola catching um, network. Yeah. And uh, that is very fretful, Jerry. Because from the moment you want to leave another, another nation to, to, to monitor for us, that it, it instantly means that they, we are at their mercy because they can just monitor, monitor, and everything is perfect for a year or two. And at any time that they are ready, they just slip through one just by mistake or two. So we can't leave it up to others to monitor for us. That would be ridiculous. I wonder if I know him at that point. But then or, or I wonder if it's tourism I'm talking about. I wonder if it's the tourists who come in here. I'm talking about so they must come from America, England, and therefore they have a fret about the tourists. Well, it seemed to me that he was trying to, he was, well, that may be, but it seemed to me that he was also talking about uh, our monitoring system and how, uh, how highly rated does it have to be. Yeah. You so said this is a sickness. This is part of the sickness of the, of the politics in Jamaica that um, uh, you, will, you will not hear any of them. You will, you will not hear them um, making any useful criticism with good suggestion how the cor to correct the system that they are on because far as they are concerned, mostly, most politicians in Jamaica, their, their party is running the thing perfectly right. They not tolerate um, them not tolerate no criticism or no correction. Perfectly right. You know, and it's, it's almost as if there's a reaction. The moment you say anything, even if it has nothing to do with politics, uh, and it affects them, that whichever party, then they, they react instead of responding to what you to, to the truth that you have spoken. You know. Yeah, and um, in become a VIP, they know. So you find, say, you know, in more speaking on behalf of the establishment more than on behalf of the people. It's, ver it's, ver it's very difficult. For, it's very difficult. Very few people go into politics and retain them independence and retain them interest in the, um, the best thing for the people. You know? Yeah, you know, Jerry, that is just one perspective. There's another. My, my perspective is that it goes right back to the lack of education. And when I say education, I talk about maths and English and history and geography and those things. I'm talking about education for the time we're living in. We're talking about education. of the, We want to know about Illuminata. We want to know the, the, the secret behind things. All those politicians should really know all about the plans of the Trilateral Commission connected with the Bilderberg Group, connected with well, the well, then, 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 well, on, you know. Yes. Then how you know so much about it and um, how you can explain it? Oh, how we can explain it? Yeah. We can explain it, but, but uh, not over the phone, just all of a sudden. Oh, oh. Because I can give an idea, of course, of how the, the, the Illuminata controls the world. Where, where do you get them ideas from? Straight out a book. Book? Oh, book. Yeah, I, and imagine it must be on the internet too. Yeah, uh, but so everything come out of a book is gospel. Everything that you see as a, a truthful person that registers out of a book as truth is, is truth. If, it, if you are truthful, uh, then unfortunately, when you read it, it registers as a truth. Yeah. It is truth. Unfortunately, I don't have the time can go further than it now, you know, because I spend a little more time on everything. But maybe, maybe one day I can explain more. Thank, you, it, thank you very much. Here, sir. Um, good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Yes, welcome. 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 Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, Gary. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Fine, thank you. Okay, I have a good problem, is it? Yes. Um, with respect to the Ebola Center, that is um, proposed by the government to be constructed up by um, the Chess Hospital. Yeah, yeah. Which is in the Ligani Barbican kind of area, like, eh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Ken Bar is proposing that that center should be at the St. Joseph Hospital. Yes, I heard him, yes. Right. I'm wondering what informed Mr. Bar's decision or his opinion that such a facility should be not at the Ligon, in the Ligony area, but on Dina Road. Uh, what informs that? Because the last time I, re I, I, I researched, um, St. Joseph's Hospital is also an area where people give birth to children, eh? St. Joseph's. 
private hospital that give the way children a, 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 a born, eh? So what would be the rationale behind the thinking that the Ebola Center should be at the St. Joseph Hospital as opposed to the Chess Hospital? I couldn't, I couldn't explain what his thinking is. Only thing as, as you were speaking there, um, it, um, I was reminded that um, the Golden Age home is right side of the St. Joseph Hospital too. Yes. So I, I don't know if it's a class thing, but I mean, it is better to be downtown as opposed to be in uptown. But, but, but standpipe... I, I don't understand the rationale behind it. I don't, I don't understand what... No, what, no, hold on. But stand, standpipe. Yes. Standpipe and um, a lot of that area there. Yeah. Is, um, which is right beside the chest hospital. It's a, it's a large... It's a large, large area still, yeah. No, no, no. What, I don't know, man. It's a large and densely populated working class area. So when it comes to the downtown, it's not, I don't, when it comes to it's class. More than that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, if, no, if, well, if you know what it, well, if you know what it is, then just tell us. No, I can't tell you what is behind it. No, things. I don't say no. I'm just trying to find out what's the rationale behind it because but I don't. I don't know. Provided to me any justification for the relocation, I don't see. It. But yeah, hold well, on. Don't don't leave it. One one minute. Let's go for a break. Welcome back. You are there, sir? Yes, no. <coughs> yeah. uh, Hold on. Um, I don't, um, I don't, uh, I'm not trying to beat down what I say at all, but if you know, if you know some class bias that um, is, is working, you must say so, but it seems to me that Bar is very familiar with him subject, the whole subject of health and the whole um, needs, very familiar with it and, and can speak out and him head as well as um refer to the facts and to documents and to so what does that mean that no uh, would you allow would you allow would you allow would you allow me would you allow me to finish did i finish saying what i said tell me did i finish saying what i said go ahead go ahead bongo no no i said can go ahead and ask if i what was finished saying what i said no i'm just saying go ahead and continue no in other words what i was saying it don't you don't want me to finish saying what i said because uh, no, i want you to i want you to no we don't sound very anxious to that no, anyway, es especially with the exchange, most of the time Mr. Ferguson not talk from a paper, not too sure what him talking about. And then yesterday, in one sentence, him tell me, say, we can't get chick view on one time, and then I told him, tell me, we can't get it two times. And then now when he was being corrected, me hear him say, boy, you would have it, you, would ha you could have it twice based on the present situation. I stand to be corrected, but that is what I'm reading, or some such thing. I stand relative to my pronouncement. What does that sound like? Well, that's a different subject. No, I'm asking you what that sound like. I'm asking you what that sound like. Yeah, yeah, that's a different, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That don't sound like somebody in no. having any knowledge of what they're talking about. Yeah, so, but Bar sound to me like him, I'm, I'm very familiar with what he's talking about. Yeah, so some thing, me, some me, yeah, anyway, what, a rationale has been presented as to why um, St. Joseph would make a better option than the yes, I, I don't see. I don't, I never hear him present a rationale like that, I agree with you, but, um, but I would need more information to say it's a class thing. I agree with you, but I would need uh, more information. Uh, Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Next one. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Yeah, you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, by the by, by, by that senior doctor, you know, and that surgeon, you know. Yeah. I, I remember the minister, the minister of health, just a doc, just a dentist, you know. Yeah, but a dentist, or even a mech, or even a mechanic, or even a, another profession, can familiarize themselves enough with the recommendations and with what the advisors is telling him, still, you know. Yeah. But by that first not, doctor, man. It's not, Ferguson alone confused, you know. Are the, whole, the, the, the whole government confused, but um, them, them kind of arrogant and strong. Yeah. Strong, so you can't tell them nothing. Now, well, they, when they're a part of the government still, them behave similar way too. So that is, a, that is one of the tendencies of power and authority. Yeah. But, but, but put, put by, I'm, I'm Ferguson, by the more brighter senior medical doctor, more than Perkinson. Perkinson is just a dentist, no if take out teeth. Yeah, but just say the same thing over and over. You're going go on and go on till there's no more teeth. Right, no, you're going, no, go, on, you're teeth, going go on and go on till there's no more teeth, <laughs> to, no more teeth to take out. Hey, yeah. um, I hear one of your callers was criticizing the 
the minister of tourism, Junior. Yeah. What he was saying, is nothing bad, he was saying, he was saying there's no flight from Africa straight to Jamaica. Yeah. So when the flight going to United States, the, 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 the medical people in the United States, the, if those people come in with a bullet, they will catch them in the United States quicker than Jamaica. Yeah. And, and he's, he's saying our system not too, our system don't get in a strong situation yet. But the minute, but the health, the health, double H O and power. Yeah. So they are coming here to watch, to see what Jamaica is doing. Yeah, yeah. So, so that car and you have no problem. But well, look here. How you can talk so fluently and explain them things without a read from a paper? Well, I don't know, you know, Jerry. Yeah, you're not a so fool, man. <laughs> I mean, you're not a fool at all. Yeah. Although you, what you say might have some mistake, but you talk fluently. Yeah. Good, all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Look more. Good, good, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, Prophet. W welcome. Yeah. Listen, um, all right. With, with, with other regards to the... U.S. and the U.K. Um, can do a screening. Yeah. How come we have that scare in a mobile when... Uh, it was a mobile when the man come in what was in, that was in Liberia 10 days before and he passed through the U.S. Yeah. So look how quickly one comes through and not miss. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. things can happen. Yeah, But yeah. with Barnum... And where, and where that person was coming through? Through U.S. or anywhere? I think it was the U.S. Yeah. Right? And um, they didn't have any... They didn't have any symptoms, yeah, right. but the fact that they was coming from from but, from Africa, from those places within a certain amount of days, that's what created the um. And that, uh, yeah, but I think U.S. missed that. Yeah, wasn't it so? By the way, now don't people if people coming through United States from Liberia or one of West African countries, and <laughs> then not staying in America, don't and they? In don't, don't them can pass through the American airport in transit? Connecting flight. Uh, and do they do it? Do people on connecting flight? Everybody get screened? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. But they had a ring with bar. Yeah. I think uh, I heard a little piece of the news. But I think the person that I heard was saying that about the Saint Joseph Hospital, whether it was bar or not. Yeah. I think the justification it gave was that in Saint Joseph Hospital had some um, um, separate rooms. Yes, different from a big ward. Yes. And therefore, you so can it, isolate the isolation. Ah, uh, so isolation. Is a justification. Yeah, I, I heard it, but uh, I, yeah, I heard it, but I didn't um, I didn't um go expand to it because I said the person called in with a certain line, you see. So, yes. And because him called with a certain line, I wanted yes. to hear yeah. him give some reason why he's pushing that <laughs> line. But him yeah. don't want, him don't want. After now, him don't get the reason why I'm pushing that line. No, no, no. no. But when no. him talk about class business. It kind of give you an indication why I'm pushing that line. Yeah, and, yeah. and maybe what I'm saying is true, you know, but I want you to come out with your line and yeah. don't try to use me a, to, uh, to come out with your line. Yeah, I think of politics in that come with first, but you know. Yeah, and sometimes the, the thing behind it can be true, you know, but you come out with it, don't, yeah. don't try to put it in my mouth. Uh, and you, uh, not because I, I interrupt what you say, or not because I question what you say mean that I'm beating it down, but I want to hear what you have to say. You want to get to the root of the problem? Yes, and we, we unravel it little by little, but I don't want you to put me up front and make me do this and do that. Uh, well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Good morning. Uh, um, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Walk on, walk on. King Celestia, Jarasta, Father. Blessed morning, Aya. Yes, sir. And give thanks and praise to all the listeners of Straight Up, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Small, this morning the, the prophet or the Christ Emperor Aya Celestia said, the ultimate resource of a nation, Mr. Small, is its people. Yeah. And unless this resource is exploited to the fullest extent of which it represents, Mr. Small, the people have a language, poor in spirit, and you know it go along the line. Now, I am saying the political parties of Jamaica say they have a vision for 2030 that Jamaica should be a 100% literate. Now, if you want un Jamaica to be a 100% literate, Mr. Small, then you have to set up the education system in a way where people can 
able to send out their children to school. You have to also set economic economic activity where the parents can be able to work, Mr. Smart, to achieve. They can be able to send out their children to school because it's the children that are going to school right now are going to make you reach that target 2030, right, sir? Yeah, it would be. Yes, so I am saying I don't see anything like that I go on, Mr. Small. I will put it on paper, but, um, I will put it on because, paper. Because, look at it, Mr. Small. Come in here, most people talking about this yet, you know. Remember, I know Mr. Small, the former Prime Minister of Jamaica is T.J. Patterson. He, he, he have the record, you know, Mr. Small, he have the record of being in Jamaica also for over 18 years, you know, right, sir? So no, no, no. So, for that the record, he have good time, because within 40 years, no, he no. did not go over that the record. No, him, he was the head for 14 years. Yes. Yeah. And nobody now go over that the record for the next 40 years. Who's that? We are more sure of that. Who's Eh? It, it, and now, Mr. Small, Ganja, where Rastafari has been persecuted for, and Jamaican citizen and all, Mr. Small. Mm. Right now, he's the one who is at the head of it right now, Mr. Small. And until now, we you know, you know mention of the little man, you know, Mr. Small, the little man who started getting character tampered with, have a bad record until now, you know, Mr. Small. You know, you know nothing of the peer for them, you know. You only hear the big man, them, who are going ahead of it, you know, Mr. Small. I know we don't hear anything, you know. So even that itself, I tell us, boy, they are still old enough to really come on from achieving, you know. You think that they must going to stop to that? No, I mean, you really expect them to do much better, you know, but you just have to talk about it, make people say, boy, we're looking for something better and we want it better. And now we have to make it better, too. Yeah. But you're not surprised to see me in the business, though? No, so I'm not surprised to see me in the business, Mr. Small, because... That man of him stay in the parliament, you know, he come like Peter Philip, you know, Mr. Small. Eh? Yes, man, he's on a single day with him party, you know, Mr. Small. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he might not go with just stand there every day, Mr. Small, but I him run government behind the scene, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, I him run the government, man. Mm hmm But as I say, a 2030 vision, Mr. Small, we want more economic activity. I would have loved the education system be a bit bit more affordable, Mr. Small, because it's very expensive. When we look on the price of CSEC, Mr. Small, Cape and university and college fee, Mr. Small, trust me, man, it's going impossible away, man. Well, I have to agree with you, but that is all the time we have here, sir. Yeah, man, give thanks and praise, man, straight up. Yes, sir, let's go for a break. Welcome, welcome back to Straight Up, good morning. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up, hello. Okay. Yes, sir, welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, bless it, man. <laughs> Little while you knock out my arm, my leg stump, but it's oh, no oh, problem, man. Oh, 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 that, oh, that. <laughs> because if I have a quick question, I may say if me believe everything may read. <laughs> oh, oh. It's a surprise, man. No, you see, a long time, a long time you hear about this Illuminati and all different kind of things. Yes. And I don't say it's not possible. And I know, say, you know, you have all kind of different secret organizations and all kind of things. But the people who always um, talk about these things and are always kind of preoccupied with these things, usually them, them don't explain it to people and them don't, um, you know. And after a while it kind of dominate them life and them thinking in a way, but them don't, them can't show no way out tight and all them way there. Anyway, go ahead, please. Yeah, man, there's a way out, but to answer that first question correctly, mm. uh, the immediate answer is absolutely not. In fact, every, everything that you read, every sentence that you read is to read to see if it is true or lie. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you agree with that. Anyway, about the Illuminati, you know. The Illuminati have been coming for thousands of years. They've been planning a one-world thing because they want to control the whole world. Want to control the whole world. Wait, wait a second. What? Come again? Yeah, so, so um, yeah, go on, man, go on. Yeah, but that's why they have been setting up now in the 2000s, as we passed through 2000, they were coming with one-world government, one-world army, one-world religion, one-world monetary system. Push the monetary system first, trying to get everything into, as you know, decimal currencies, and then from there on to integrate. Europe is done integrating a euro. But, but, but all we attack is, very, all we, all, with all we attack are some very vague things we are talking about. Some vague things, <coughs> eh? Okay, let me get more specific then. How they control the world is by each 
each of these primary, there are six primary institutions in the world. One is the Trilateral Commission. One, the other one is the Council on Foreign Relations. Then you have the United Nations. Then you have the Club of Rome, the Bilderberg Group, and the Royal Institute of International Affairs. So where do you get that list from? That is out of the, the, the greatest, um, the person that has researched Illuminata most of all, the great Ike. Who? David Ike. Where am they? He's out of England. So how old him is now? Um, I, I, I imagine he's about your and my age, I think. Oh man, that is neither your name. It's about how old him is now. How old him is? Yeah. Uh, he must be in, he, he must be past 60. I so uh, how long now him, um, how long now him I expose these things? Well, he has been researching <laughs> for years, but when you see the detail that he goes into, you can see clearly And, and him it. call the name all of the men, them where, where, and women who control them things. Call them name. Of course. Don't give you an example. Have the, have, have the book right in front of me. No, what, what I mean is that, um, so, so them now have no power though. Them now have no power to stop nobody from exposing them though. Um, they, they, they don't mind at this stage of the game when it, everything is about to be, in their opinion, everything is about, about to come out. They don't mind being exposed at all because they've been secret for so long, you know. Mm. So, it's one, 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 um, one government over the whole world in my plan. Yes, and they, they actually have it. In terms of titular, titular power, they, they, they're already controlling so much, they control so, the world, so where, they control where, the first world war and the second world war in Nigeria. Yeah, so them, it's a European organization? It, it's it's a bigger than a European organization. I just need to know yes or no, you know. It's a European organization or is not? It, 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 you can't call it an organization. Illuminati is an is a organization. I, I'm not even sure if you describe it as an organization. Illuminati is a group of 300 um, families or 300 people. The richest people in the entire creation. One man alone is said to have... So all of them are European? Big pardon? All of them are European? No. All of the family of them is European? No, no. What, 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 where, 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 where them come from? Well, them coming from, um, oh, yeah. Them coming from, yeah, many are European, yes. But they're, 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 they're like, down in Italy too, there's this, there's, there are a couple from down in Italy. No, man, look here, we're wasting time. Ask if it's European. You said, you say yes. You said no, it's more than European, and then you start telling more family in Italy. Yeah, well, there are many, many different ones, but it... it but look how long it taken me to get an answer from you. But you're talking about individual persons, and I'm trying to... Explain family, the family them, the family them. Organizations, look, yeah, the, the, So tell me something now, look how more the ISIS and all them going to join up with them. They are using ISIS, they have created ISIS. They yes, ISIS. let me ask a question again, can you do answer me? want to sell more guns so, and more So look how more, so them and the ISIS are join up then, so ISIS is part of the Ill Illuminati. ISIS is Just a, tell me yes or no, no man. Is a weapon. Just tell me yes or no, no. Forty by the United. The so United so the ISIS. So tell me yes or no. So ISIS is, is part of them then. ISIS is a part of them, of course. But then it takes so long to tell you that. All right, we have to go because it's time. Two of them. Yeah, man, we take too long, man. And, uh, too long, but you have to go into the, the trilateral commission part first. Yes, but you say we have many other callers and we can't spend the whole of time on one call. That's why you have to use up the time properly and, and we could talk plain. Anything, you see like we have truth in here, just read and look for truth. No, but you have tea for next minute again. No, man, that is the truth. That is yes, it. sir. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, Jerry. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> you see, I, I remember I said the other day there is a triangle I saw. A triangle? A triangle. Yeah, where? Um, what was revealed to me about um, people trying to control the world. Oh, oh. Financial control. So it, them thing they just start? No, no. Oh. I'm not saying it just start. Um, is, is what is really happening because if you can't diagnose a case, you can't prescribe a remedy. Mm. So the, the most I God has shown me this triangle at this point in time. So yeah. they just said we're trying to control. The man ever try to control the world, you know. Yeah. Them forgot to them come down there like baby and they not bring nothing. So all of these wars where we have and destruction and waste of resources, my man are trying to control God world. The other day we, never, we couldn't even get no rain, no one pound a year, my few hundred and fifty dollars, one pound a potato, one hundred and fifty. And we don't know if them can't see with all of them are going with them. Whatever them learn, technology comes from out of God world around them. And all that. God give them a brain so that them could have do all of that. And I don't know, but there's always this struggle, just like how the devil tries to take over man and kick him out, kick God, kick him out there. When I look why I say, I don't know. What you don't know? Huh? Well, I, say, yeah, I really yeah. don't know why, as human beings, we are always trying. Just like how you see the dance, trying to control the communities. 
and, and, and as you were saying this morning, charging people rent in their own house, eh? man, there's this, this, this attitude of, of um, man just trying to see so he must dominate and he must rule over his own um, human being in a certain kind of way. You know? So uh, uh, this, this triangle that I was seeing is, is this, this, this effort for some to dominate the world, the, the world with this globalization thing or some things. And then call somehow a third world. You know what I mean? And them up at top. Them are first world and God create one world. Him not create three. And them are, them are first world and then them tell full, full, full agriculture. So what it is, they're not subsidized to them. To them agriculture. To them agriculture. It's out here farmers. But them subsidized to them and dump them, them cheap goods in here. So if you sit down and look at what that, the man talking about, the, the luminosity and the control, that is what, the effort when Hitler got up in him try to control the world, it comes yes. come well, up. Well, look here now. The more um it, it kind of vague, it just going vague and vague. No, and no, vague. no, I'm not going vague. No, I'm not saying you know, but um what happened is that I have two more phone calls and only four minutes to the news. So I'm going to go to our next call. We'll call back later. Good morning and welcome to straight up, hello. Good morning, Jerry. Welcome. Yes, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Go ahead, man. We're wasting time. Oh. All right, no. Jerry, why do you make... Why do you make to come up one day? Like, you, 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 get, you, you get together. The whole of you on the call of them. And we have a workshop. Where we can, where we can find some ideas. How to make some funds and make the country better and them things there. Eh? Because you carry the whole information go go back to uh, your headquarters. <laughs> yeah, them, 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 them something there at uh, headquarters already. But uh, we know the people. So because you, because you always have said that to the people them, to go, start with them community and Ray Ray and them because they there. Ah, uh, Ray Ray. From the time, you the from the radio until now, and yeah, yeah, tell people to do them things and people are call up fire. Yeah. Help them. I mean, I see as nobody have come up on the other nation yet. And yeah. I say, yeah. we start this some three years ago. Yeah, it, it no make no sense. We're going to go to the next car. Because it no make no sense. I pure fool in Sweden. Right Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Small, I see the American people turn their backs on Obama. The American people? Yeah, in the election last night. No man, the election is a whole heap of election all over America for different things, governor and senate and all different kind of things. Yeah, the, senate, the senate election, Obama lose the senate, the Democrats. Obama lose the senate. Obama is just one little cog in a two. The Democrats, the Democrats. Yes, yes. They say that Obama lie. Yeah. But the great Obama, if Mr. Obama has tricked so much people in America, can you imagine what our politicians are doing to us? If I can imagine, I do have to imagine, I know what I'm going to do. Second, Mr. Small, those guys on the corner who I green every day, see? I would, I would make a suggestion to most of the males on the corner to start facilitate themselves as to some Ebola training. How them, how they, them do that? They can go on the internet or YouTube and see how the librarians deal with it. So the guy them on the corner where are idle, you believe so them have internet can go on? Yeah, man, they have access to, to computer. Most of them have computer in their homes. They need to do those, start facilitating how to do their drills. Because they might be the one who may have to help them friend, if their friend catch Ebola, to carry them to the Ebola center. Because the Ebola can make you act mad, you know, Mr. Smart. Yeah, I, I imagine, and I imagine. If you're not familiar to people, yeah. other people can't touch you, an emotional disease, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, very emotional. So I just I'm encouraging them to start to get, facilitate themselves as to some Ebola training. Yes, yes. Because the government not going to train them. Yeah. yeah they might have to put a water boot and raincoat and not take out the friend out of the house. Water boot and raincoat can cover you? Yeah, the raincoat can serve as a Ebola suit, you know. Oh, so it, the Ebola now, it's like how Ebola require properly, fully properly covered. They drop off yeah. a pants arm style, not going to work with the Ebola then. No, no. Oh. Because yeah. Ebola must come to our shores, you know, Mr. Smart. Yeah. If it don't come by the human transition, yeah. it is going to come through the food chain. 
Take care, Mr. Smart. Yes, sir. Left name headline news. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Jerry Small, and we're into the third hour of our program. I'm going to read some text messages. Um, um, Jerry, I'm not saying my name, but Gang Stuff Alive, tune into your show every day. Quote up. I hope this, were, I hope this is it. This is what? Quote up. Next one. Mer- and I don't know if it's the real Gang Stuff Alive you're referring to, or is you will call yourself Gang Stuff Alive, but anyway. Next one, murder increase in the Mandeville area, but politicians block the news. Not even a sound on radio or TV. Sean, too, was killed in a bar in George's Valley. Oh, yeah? Next one, Mr. Small, good morning. AJ Nicholson put his foot in his mouth. These people need to resign. Quit. Thank you. Next one, Jerry, you know that without land, our hands are tied. Tell them to give us land, land we want right now. You know, telling them not going to change anything, you know. Telling them going, not going to change anything. It have to reach to a crisis before these things are, these things are attended to. Next one, Jerry. You love to talk about Africa, but you can't identify anything good coming out of Africa, like democracy. Oh, so you say anything good, it, it came out of Europe. Let me hear more from you. Next one. Good morning, Mr. Small. Could you give me the numbers for Wallet, the Wallingford Copy Company, please, sir? Coming from Chris. I don't know. I don't have those numbers, you know. I don't have those numbers, but it should be easy to get those numbers. If you call the Jamaica Agricultural Society, I'm almost sure you'd be able to get those numbers. And the number is supposed to be in the book also, but call the Jamaica Agricultural Society. Next one. Jerry, I think that Porsche should take away the national security job from Peter Bunting and get to Mark Golden. I don't like Peter Bunting coming from Cherry. But she trusts him and um, not on that. It's not her alone decision. Those who have the decision, them decide on that. And I doubt if, um, I doubt if she di- displeased with him. Next one. Hey, Jerry, do you know that the real poor people cannot afford to buy a card? to make a call while Babylon spending millions on phone calls. Of course I know that. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Please say happy birthday to Miss Valerie Heaven of Wakeland Drive, Falmo Trelawney. Play this special song, write your name across my heart and dedicate the song to her from a special friend. And I, I can't promise I'll get into that today, you know, but I appreciate and um, I help you to send greetings to her. Anybody know Miss Valerie Heaven of Wakeland Drive, Falmouth? Please tell her that her birthday greetings coming to her over straight up program from a special friend. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. I am a little skeptical about the Bible, for example. It says mankind punishment is death, but animals and trees die too and they, and they commit sin. Well, that is the question. Next one, Jerry, stop sounding like you don't know about the Illuminati and the New World Order coming from Marva. So why you tell me no Marva? You tell me something know about it. I hear about it long time. I, I worry about things I hear about, but I don't just um, squ- swallow things. From my youth, I can't just swallow things when I hear people with, and just go along with everything when I hear people. I, just, I can't do it. And I don't sorry that I can't do it. From my youth, I'm glad for that too. Next one. Why are there so many idiots on the loose? Incubation period is said to be 21 days. I think down about the bullock. Couldn't someone cross ver, um, U.S. and England within that band? Do they quarantine everybody? PNP propaganda. Our government is a lame duck quacking excuses and filthing up itself in its vain efforts to lay golden eggs. <laughs> uh, next one. Greetings in the name of uh, Zombie. Um Pergo uh, or Pergo or Pongo. When the Haitians fought and won the independence, it was our God Zombie and uh, Um Pongo. They called and while in battle, not Jesus, Ja, Jehovah or Yahweh. Okay, let's get back to your phone call. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, you know? Yes, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, where are you? Well, go on. Yeah, Jerry, where, where are you? Fine, thank you, man. Good man. Tell me something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot to give um, extra shout out to Miss. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry, you know. Eh? Mr. Jais was telling you, know, Sir and um, and myself also. Yeah. I was telling you, know, some of these diseases come from man and yam, uh, certain type of animal. Man and yam, what? Certain animal. Yes. You're not supposed to eat. You, you see that different period of the glean? What? 
the food chain, the, the food bats and the monkey and all that, where, where man, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a business. Yeah, but them, it's some wicked thing in Europe, you know. Me, 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 me. Look here, hog, hog uh, wicked, more monkey. Yeah. Le, 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 you know the hog wicked of food, that monkey? Let us stick to one subject there. No, you stick to the I guess. This, uh, listen, man. Mm. The, the, the World Health Organization. Yeah. Are saying that some of these Ebola come straight from the bush meat for them and them eat like the monkey and the girl and them. Monkey and the girl? Gorilla. Oh, gorilla. You can see now. Oh, gorilla. Yes. You swallow up the word, me think a girl, you say. Yeah, no, man, you listen to me. You, you know gorilla. Me. You know me and you already, and you know how you always try to... <laughs> say it again. Say girl already. Gorilla. Yeah. You want me to spell it for you? No, man, no. <laughs> you have to spell it wicked, man. <laughs> He's all right. So, may I tell you, say? Yeah. Certain things are not to be eaten. Yeah. You understand what I mean? And, and, and people who don't know here, there are some people who are trying to quote the Bible, you know. I try to do what? Quote the scripture. Yes, yes. And I try to quote... Peter didn't want vision. Yeah. And said, vision, they must rise, kill and eat. Yeah. And after the vision, Peter go one place and, and start to talk to some other people. Yeah. And, and, and when I talk to other people, Fihim Bridget said, listen, don't talk to them. And Peter said, the Lord has shown me in a vision. Yeah. That I must not call any man come on and clean. Yeah. So the vision wasn't about, you know I mean, poker and you know I mean, dog or something. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So who, so you guys must take it and you are on the radio. Yeah. And right now, you know what I saw already? What? In a Jamaica, in modern Jamaica, some snails. Yeah. Me now call this store, me see, you know, they, they, they food chain. Yeah. Snails come from France, uh, food Jamaica man, uh, if you can't eat. Yeah. Eh? No, come on. We can't eat them, man. Snail? Snail. Let's so, tell you. So the French snail can't eat? Not to be eaten. Those things are not to be eaten. Mm. You understand what I mean? Because they call all kind of disease from human, human beings. Yeah. Right? The last thing. Tell me something. Oh, what conk? Yeah, it is a part of the scripture that tells you all kind of things. What, what to be eaten. I ask about conk, man. What to be eaten either. You don't eat conk soup? No. Conk soup? No, 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 no. But me have gone from the, um, the wires out nearby where you turn for up a wire, say. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. I have a big, you have a big cook shop there with about yeah, 40 and cut. I mean, see you there, I get, I get, I take your conch soup. No, I don't, I don't eat it. Me, me cook good. You drink the soup, but you don't eat the, the conch? No, I eh? don't drink the soup either. Eh? We are, we are tell, tell, tell me, for Jerry, I don't eat conch soup. Don't tell oh, me. you do you drink it? I don't drink, no, you know, say, the, hold on, Jerry, hold on. I don't eat conch soup. You drink it? Listen to me, you know, say the proper English is, if you eat porridge, you, 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 you eat porridge? Yeah. And drink water? Yes. And you, and you eat soup? Yeah, yeah, you eat soup? Uh, so the English language then? Oh, what you said to me? You better learn that. Mm. You check somebody else to tell you. you eat so soup. when you eat soup, you eat it with water in your mouth? Listen, I said the English language talking about soup. You said you eat soup? Yeah. And you try to learn that. Last thing. Yeah. Why are you so uh, cross with bet? Bet? Who name so? But tell you, they, come, they, they, they call the PNT girl, man. Oh, you want me to hug up um, Ebola? <laughs> listen, listen, man. You ready? What are you? You can go and hook up a bowl if you want. You want man. Yeah, you. Is that right? You, you take care of yourself. In time, to, you see how you hook her up too. <laughs> and you too? Yes, I hook up the sidewalk. <laughs> you go on. Yes, good. Good morning and, and um, welcome to Straight Up, you know. Hello. Ultimate Tech Tende. Yes, sir. Welcome. <laughs> yes, sir. Greetings, brother Jerry. Fine, yeah. How are you and yours? Great, great, man. Ah, uh, give thanks. And big up the new stock family. Let's see, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, you and Abedrin just for a short while ago was speaking about the boy Ebola, which we know is Ebola. Yeah, yeah. Not true? Yeah. And uh, he was saying that um, the youth from the corners should pick it up and deal with certain things. Not true? No, he was saying that um, the youth that were waste time from the corner should go and go get some Ebola um, training to make themselves youthful. Useful. Yeah, but he also said they should put on some water boot and raincoat and all them things there in dealing with the issue. And you recommend that? No, well that is why I call. Oh. Because I am saying, if that is what he said, yeah. that's the wrong information. Yeah. Now, whether it's the youth from the corner, whether it's people from the health sector, anybody dealing with this Ebola situation, Yeah have to get the proper training. But 
because this is something that we have never seen before. And there is a way to deal with it if you are going to go anywhere near it. And there is a way that seems it right on to a man differently. True. But the end of it is um, death. Yes. So I am saying, I don't not stop anyone who wants to be involved in it because it, uh, it concerns all of us. But then I am saying, if you don't know exactly what to do, you can find yourself as pretty too. Yeah, yeah. Right? So the thing is, the raincoat business and water boat business of a thing that through the door because that's not the right information. Yeah, and the drop and off, drop off a pants, not going to work. No, no, sir, that one the worst. Yeah, drop off a... You cannot be exposed to it any at all. Yeah. And even, even the kind of nurse across, yeah, the, 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 um, I think one of them country, France, one of them country there, eh? what she did wrong, you know, was after she angered the patient, she scratched her face. Yeah. That alone caused problem. Yeah, yeah. That because before, she, before she was exposed to the whole thing. But they mean before she changed, she scratched her face. Yes. That means if you change off and get off everything, yes. wash off her and everything. Yes. Yeah. It's an idea, Yeah. So it's a process that you have to go through and that you have to practice. But that's what they do in, in Cuba, you know. So that's what debriefing means. Briefing means when you tell somebody briefly before them go on a mission, what would them have to do? Then yes. after them go on yes. a mission, especially a dangerous mission, yes. them go through debriefing. Although yes. people, people think it's a joke, so when you go through some dangerous thing, you need to sit down together and talk, both with one another and both who send you out and kind of wind down and kind of get all of them stress off of you, you know, before Definitely. you go back out of the road. People believe it's a joke. That's so, true. So, it's true because I want to know, say, you know, it started from just one child, you know. Mm. And that one child caused the family to get it, you know. Yeah. And when the family get it, the whole community start get it, you know, and funny things start spreading and all that stuff. You know, you know. You know, so therefore, we now have to spend enough time, not only depending on government, but anyway, we can get the right information and pass it around that each of us can have highly knowledge. So it starts just like, engineer. it start just like um, the apple in the, in the garden with the Eden then. Just like that. <laughs> one, 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 a joke, a joke, one, a joke. No, no, a joke. One but, person. No, but, yeah. but, but, but I just say because it's a starting point. Yeah, one person eat and... Um, Weird, you know? Yes. Well, thank you very much, yes, sir. Well, give thanks sometimes, my brother, and big up Jamaica said speed, and for all who the mosquito shot yeah. with them gun, yeah. I'm hoping speedy recovery. Yeah. You, 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 you get hurt already? Me? Yeah. Well, the man shot out the day like man, but I kind of recover at All the right. moment, you know? All right. Well, Ferguson, say so I can't get it again. Well, the, yes, you know, and at the first, you know, you no. were saying, I just don't go one time, you could get it. Ferguson says so, but... Yes. But, um... But, 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 then, but, then, but then I meet brethren and sisters who got it a second time. No, I don't get it a second time. It's a second phase. A second phase? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, okay. thank you very much, yes, sir. Yeah, hello? I'm gone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Morning, welcome. Straight Up, hello? Go ahead, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Welcome, welcome. In discussion dominated by, well, I say. Well, 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 we never start properly. We never start properly because you weren't on the air. Um, good morning, welcome. Start back from the beginning, please. Yes, yeah, morning to your listeners. Wow, wow, wow. Good to your man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, His Majesty was asked to say, yeah. what is your opinion of democracy? Yeah. <laughs> and His Majesty in reply to the Italian journalist, democracy republic, what do these words signify? Yeah. What have they changed in the world? Have men become better, more loyal, more loyal kinder? Are people happier? All goes on as before, as always. Illusion, illusion. And he said, besides, one should consider the interests of a nation before subverting it with words. And then finally, he said, democracy 
is necessary in some cases, and we believe some African people might adapt it. Right? Words of the Imperial Majesty. Yeah. But um, in, in the scripture, you have a prophet named Jeremiah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a close off that one verse. And, you know, people ask about government, but I don't know if people really interested in government that offer peace. But Jeremiah said, right, he said, in, in peace. Come on, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it to justice and judgment from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Give thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to the next phone call. Good morning and welcome. Straight up. Hello. Yeah. Yes, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a when it's a, a person, a, a bowler, a bowler. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you in there the gun? Are you dealing? You can't take it off and put it on back, you know? No, you can't put it on back the same one. burn it. Every time, every time. Once, once, you are, once you are part of the medical team or even the burial team, yeah. treating an Ebola patient or removing an Ebola patient who has died or burying one, yeah. once you take off that uniform, it must be destroyed burn. completely. I think, I think burning is the only acceptable way also yeah uh, and therefore there is no cleaning it or reusing it you don't bother contemplate that at all and when they are burying their bowl of patient you can't go there you know unless you have a cover a, a cover going you know yeah and and them have to bury that special thing yeah i burn them body yeah another thing I hear some people calling on the text line and asking you to get numbers. Yeah. But the calling the telephone operator, the telephone assistant, it's 114, you know. At any phone you have, you know, you can get the, the, the telephone assistant. All cell phone, too. Yeah, with a cell phone at 114. Yeah. And you tell them the place where you want. And when you tell them the place where you want, they, they give you the number. The assistant, the telephone... Assistant to give that number. Yeah, 114, yeah. Yeah, 114. Yes, so sir. people have to call and ask if you get any number. For it. Let's use the 114 for your cell phone or your landline. Yeah. And the, the assistant will help you. Yeah. Just All give right. them the place. Give them the name of the place. Yeah. And then get it. All right, place. great. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Go, go ahead, please. <laughs> Is what? How are? Yes, 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 okay. No, some good comic relief from my man, the man. Who that? <laughs> I tell you about one, one, four, go on. Oh, then why you laugh? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you hold yourself, man. Waste of time for now. Mine, no, man, you're laughing sick. You know, it's a laughing sickness can kill you. <laughs> no, but it's very funny that it sounds like him just discovered that so late in life, you know? No, he, he passing on the knowledge and said people must stop calling and ask me for telephone number because you can call and ask 114 for yourself. <laughs> yes, I so What's the fun about that? <laughs> it's comic relief. No, it's, but it's, pe when people hear you talk about Illuminati, they must say to themselves, how you just hear about that? <laughs> when you talk about late in life, Wilson will get 114 late in life. People <laughs> people could ask say you get Illuminati with Talking about numbers, Jerry. Yeah. You see that priceless text you just got about the, uh, the, the lame duck golden egg thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was if I was in if I was in your position I would have definitely write down the, the, the person's number yeah. and call them up and try to pick them brain because that's so interesting bad. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, um <clears throat> I, I, I I hope that you'll take what I'm about to say in, in as an experience. Well, you know, say a lot for time for your time already. Right, right. Go ahead, go ahead, man. All right, all right. Uh, we'll take, you'll take it as a learning experience. I'm, I'm, I'm about to, to, um, to pick at your emotional body because um, when I was talking about Illuminata, I kept getting the feeling that you were becoming more and more frustrated almost as if you were reacting and not responding to my statements, you know? Anyway, what I really want to say is that at first when I heard about Illuminati, a certain amount of fear came up in me. And I realized that the fear was because I didn't know any damn thing about them. So I started to study about them. And I submit that everybody that wants to learn about the Illuminati can, especially in this time. Hey there? Yeah. All right. So um, <clears throat> it's, it's put out in so great detail that you, you cannot miss to see that every historical fact is put out in this book by David Icke. 
It's a great book. And it is called, And the Truth Shall Set You Free. It is described as the most explosive book of the 20th century. And it shows how the Illuminata rules the world. Because it started with, from long ago, thousands of years ago, the concept of one world government. And it's like they're on a race to reach there before something else happens in creation. And what else is happening in creation is what Rasta is all about, you see. This is what makes it so interesting. Because they are racing for this one world government. And yet it's Rastafari that is going to bring the one world government. But they don't realize it. That they're going after it in this um, worldly way, pragmatic way. Uh, with guns and bombs and money and all of that. But Rastafari is doing it totally culturally. Anyway, that is a long story, and I, I know you, I don't have more time, but take care for now, my brother. Yeah, man, take time and laugh here, sir. <laughs> all right. Good morning, and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Welcome, Straight Up, hello. Good yeah, morning, Jerry. Yes, sir, what's going on? Not much. Yeah, yeah man, democracy, de Jerry, people in this country have all in Boston and talked about Jamaica, democratic country. Yeah. Which to me is a fallacy. The, uh, the question I would like to ask, are they mixing democracy, democracy with oligarchy? Yes. M many of them, yes. Uh -huh. Because Jamaica has not been governed in the interest of the, of the majority of people, since, especially since independence. No, not until, not since, um, not since European government come here. Right. Right. And when power is concentrated in the hands of few, and national decisions are made by few. That is not democracy. No, sir. So, you but, know... But, but still, at the same time, them, them would say it's democracy, you know, democracy originated and developed in Greece and Rome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it was... It the, was the, what they call it, Agora. Yeah, it, was, it was still operating from behalf of the inner circle citizen. Mm -hmm. Not everybody. Yeah. So you can't see with democracy then? So, um, but, but at the same time, you know, any sensible human being would never give up that um, better ways of doing things not only will be devised, but will be implemented, you know? Mm-hmm. You could, could never give up. It's not consistent with being a sensible human being, giving up. Yeah. And the, uh, the second question you see, Jerry, <laughs> and, and you see him so big. Can a liberal democracy coexist with a society whose politics, systems, and structures of government are inherently tribal? That sounds like contra contradiction. Uh, huh? That sounds like contradiction. Yeah, so we, we don't really, we, we, what we have in our, we don't have a democracy then? I never thought so. No, but even, even, even media personnel and media practitioners, up to yesterday and this morning, I heard them bragging about the democracy that we have. Yeah, when I coach them, get coaches to that. We were lucky because every five years, um, government changing at Jamaica and this and that and this and that. But I'm a fool himself. No, some of them sincerely believe what they believe. And I, I don't say all of them are fool themselves. You, you be dedicated people as such? Yeah, man. Plenty of people are um, not really aware. Never, never, have never really sincerely learned or thought about how this, um, so-called nation come about. They don't really understand, um, but they're carrying out the functions that will give them a job and will make them comfortable and you know, it's, it's unreasonable and... Yeah, that's why we have to, yeah, that's why we have to be skeptical of what they say. Mr. Perk, you tell us, you know, that yeah. we must be skeptical of things that people say, you know. Yeah, it's very useful. Yeah, skeptical. And find out, and, and try to find out who benefit from the different suggestions that they're making. Who really benefit? Right, right, right. Thank you very much. Here, cool, sir. yeah, man. Yes, sir. Right. Well, let's go for this call just before the break. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, Mr. Swan. Welcome. Um, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Why am I of this opinion that you are sidestepping the Illuminati um, argument? Then? That I am sidestepping it. Yeah. I, I am I am very interested. I'm glad you called and, and raised that. Let's go for a break. Yeah. Then no, hold on, hold on. And look. then the Illuminati thing, all right. Let me go there for a place, break now. There's oh. a place in New Kingston yeah. called the Masonic Building. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And less of them meet. Yeah. And them set up the art. You see people find the background and most of them politicians here. Yeah. All right, yeah, you hear me? Them. Hello, yeah. you hear me? I don't want to interrupt you. So what you going to do? Go and go for a break that you can do slow smooth. Not true? I mean, there are. I don't want it. I don't want to jump in. Stay, stay. 
Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. You are there, sir? Yeah, ma'am, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. hold on. First, just clarify the sidestep thing. Tell me how the sidestep going on. Tell me how I'm All side. right, all right, you know now. Mm. You're not making any input in the conversation. Um, you, 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 it would appear as if you're totally ignorant of of any such thing or any such knowledge because it becomes a taboo for certain people and people on the radio it's like you must talk about it eh uh -huh. so, yeah. so 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 yeah. so for man you know holy for holy for discussion about it my love for God no you allow it I, I'm saying I'm saying all right you yeah. know like how most of the time when people talk about father things you all cut in for them time and talk about it yeah, yeah. but as, as I'm saying you know more know if you're ignorant of of um of the knowledge that they do exist. Come I mean, here, say you have a building in a, in a new Kingston name, the Messianic building. Yeah. So work with one of them. No, before the before you go to the building, yeah. Tell me how yeah. me. Tell me because you know enough about me. Tell me how me a side step on my friend and Tell me. All right, all right. You know, you right. know, me know why you you lead the argument in a different um direction. More on people for no, no. No, but me a side step. It. No, but me a side. No, hold on, hold on. Minister, Farmer, me at, at Kingston. Yeah. It, it's in a book in, it's in a book in a Jamaica, yet, you know. Yes, yes. Then we are, then we are ring with a compass and square on it. Yes. You get enough vehicle, you see, a drive in front of you. Yes, yes. You get on some security company. Uh -huh. And uh, is a, 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 um, a set of people, a farm, an alliance. To rule the country. That's why you see them dissect the society. Yeah. Some control the, the, the um, the, the, the legal section, some control the security section, yeah. some cal control the political section, yeah. some control the financial section. Yeah, yeah. You get to me a deal with yeah. them people there. Uh, people get, um, it, the knowledge out there still enough. Yeah, well, 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 So, but, but, that, don't, don't, me apartheid too. Um, no, I couldn't say that. I couldn't say that. Your friend, your friend, knowledge of that. Your friend, yeah. we're not going to put no, we're not going to put no OBI on a curse by you now. No, man, I couldn't say that. I couldn't say that, Mr. Small, because look at now. Yeah. You see, me as a person, I'm a transparent person. I'm not allow people to try to decide for me. Yeah. Me can know. Yeah. Because what you see is what you get, or what you hear is what you get. Me not going to say yeah. what me don't know about. Yeah. You get me? I wouldn't say that. But maybe, but, but, no. No, but like how me a sidestep it. I like how it's forbidden for you to talk about it and me not talk about it. That means no, that I, me, me... I said that um, it would appear that way. Yeah. You realize that I use that. Yeah. Uh, but maybe, I use that word. But appear. maybe, but maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, totally. yeah, but maybe uh, like, maybe like Vibes Cartel me also is apartheid too. Because you know it's a cartel. No, man. Uh, hold on now. And, and um, that's one of the things where my vice cartel and they are present to be kind of allowed out with people and things. No, but you must, but you must part of it. You must keep out No, but... Because they're not the entertainment industry too, you know. Yeah, but I but don't... keep out certain people, them farmers, so say... Yeah. To promote themselves and make people popularize where they can get support from. Don't, then you never, then wait, you never know survive tonight. Me never know, me never know me here. Then how you I just... But, have the proof of that. Yeah, but I you... I have the proof of that. But you just have said that it's in the entertainment world now to help make them popular. No, I, I, I am certain it is in the entertainment world. Because I'm I, I saying all artists right now are popular. Um, them, them wear the ring. And in a music video, yeah. the person where, where, where I show the music video, yeah. show me in front the ring to show people say I'm a part of them. Yes, yes. You get me? Survive so the night. Survive so the night. I'm not going to them things I'm talking about. So, so cartel is supposed to unite too? Um... I, I, I just said, I couldn't say for a certain. Yeah. Because I don't know, because I just said, yeah, you can't tell you, like, farmer, prime minister. Yeah. Yeah. I know, me know, me, farmer, me, a king's yeah. done. Yeah. Like, because it's seat in a book, and it, it, it is established that they're a part of it. Yeah. Not for them people, you have to get the big contract, them, and that's why they're not busy with nobody who wants to say, no. Yeah. Because, um, you can't carry them a court and then get convicted for anything. Because people in a, in a the court system, they judge them apartheid. Police yeah. officers, high-ranking police officers. Yeah. Them, you can't see them with the ring on them finger. Yeah, you say all that already. You say all that already, you know, but you still not tell me if um, say, but me, so, me good have be apartheid though. No, no, you could be too. You yeah. could be. Yes. You could be. Yeah. Yeah. And I could be too. You? Yeah, me could be too. Well, you must know. Uh, yeah, um, they must know. Yeah, they must know. I know too. Yeah. So they know? Yeah, only you know. No, alright, you are. You are. I don't want... It's I, even I, if I'm... No, I don't... No, I don't... No, I, no, I, I, I don't... It's my intention to do Hello, hello, because, I, hello. Because the man, man have been trying to... um. 
um, enlightened people yeah. of Jamaica of what is happening around. Because enough people don't understand what happened to them. You know? Yeah, so me yeah. stop it when when you want enlightened the people, me stop him or me give him a chance? No, man, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, try to stop him. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, honestly, yeah. me, have, me, me have detect some diverse and tactics, you know? Me, me, I try yeah. divert it. No, just, uh, Mr. Small, let me just say what I say, because look here now. Yeah. But me just say, me just, me, me just detect that. Yes, sir. Because, see, then if you um, detect as, it. As, 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 as Bob say, you know, yeah. you can't fool some of the people sometimes, you can't fool all the people. Um, I, 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 I am not. So, Mr. Small, yes. you know, just say, the, 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 the man is speaking, you yes. get me? Yes, sir. Yeah. And um, most people like me here you know, we are we are prevented yeah. from from getting um that what you call that that that, that medium yeah. to do all of this exposure on them, you know? Yeah. But um give thanks to small another time, yeah? Yeah man, I feel how you Yeah man, bless him. Yes, um good morning and welcome to straight up. Hello? We have some text messages there. Is the DPP incapable of prosecuting a case based on for forensic evidence? Why well, I mean, don't know nothing about that, you know. I don't know nothing about that. Next one. Good morning, Mr. Small. Anybody do the crime, they should have a list. Huh? They should have a list of the punishments. So anybody rape, steal, and kill, once found guilty, the offender will know what the punishment will be. Well, the laws are, the laws are made public, you know. So, you know, the laws are made public. So, um, people can't really say that them don't know what are the penalty for different offenses. People might not know there's something offense, but the law no business with that. Next one. Robin, I just love that little sound Butter makes when he comes on. Keep up the good work. Come from Kim. All right. Next one. Wanted. Bartender to work in St. Elizabeth. Reasonable salary. Please call Lady Joy. But Lady Joy, only things I can give out a number, yes, so you know, you know. If anybody wants a, if any, I, I suppose a female bartender they want, them can call and we give them a number, Lady Joy. In a St. Elizabeth, bartender. Next one, very, Jerry, you sound very confused. You can't free the people, them with ignorance. Eh? Then come raise with me, man, and tell me what I'm confused about. Next one, Bongo Jerry Wilson is an informative person, and I and many more appreciate him. Heal him up and keep up the good work. Well, all right. Next one, why, why you not reading some of the texts? Wait, you yeah, Illuminati. Well, and I'm going to tell you now, mystery. You have got to decipher that mystery there for yourself. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning, welcome okay, back. Hello? Yes, yes. Hey. Yeah. Why every time I call a program, you say me have three minutes and you egg me up. Every time you do it, why? Yes, I say. You know, I'm not talking nothing more. No more. Yes. Foolish more than nobody else. Yes, but you say, you say, the, you say the party virus and propaganda them. Yeah, what, yeah, what? yeah, me never come talk about the party business. Yeah. They say, you talk about politics every day, because the first thing that, when we come, you say, I pay politics, me I talk about, which me not talk about the politics, me I talk about where you are talk about. Yeah. You understand me, I say? Yeah. And every time somebody comes on the program, yeah. to talk, where they might talk, yeah. if you don't like it, you cut them off, or uh, else not. You know the people them start, you, you finish it and talk where you want to talk, and then cut out the people them, and the people them don't get to explain themselves. You understand it, so you see it. Because I call you now and I tell you, say, if we get together and we'll do a workshop, we we'll have ideas. Now, hello, you know what you do? Go up to PNP headquarters and go do a workshop. And, um, and you can play Chichi Boom. <laughs> you, go, you go play Chichi Boom too. Hello? <laughs> don't mama up there? Hello, don't mama up there? <laughs> come, come, talk to man. <laughs> don't mama, don't mama up at HQ there. What? Don't mama up at HQ. Of course, listen. Then, then you can't go play Chichi Boom up there. <laughs> and you know which part, you know which part the last game I go play. <laughs> That's what I left her, because she's not good again. Good morning now, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Greetings, Jerry. Welcome, sir. How are you doing, Chris? Come on, all right. Uh, tell me something, you saw Paula Lewin in last night? Yes, ma'am, may I tell you? Boy, that was a display. <laughs> See, imagine if, um, 
that man from India come there, Mr. Williams. Yes. Really disturb her. Yes, yes, yes. She was going on as if she was a third farmer um, who have just... No, every time... Cut. Every time, I, yeah, boy, it's like, a, it's like a take the word out of my mind. Every time I see her in that mode, I just, I remember, like she, like school days. Yes, definitely. Why are you read it, someone? Boy, it's just that I saw, you know, she was there, you know, I just said, palavin. But, um, you know, she was reveling in her independence, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nobody can touch her. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, her independence is only relative, Jerry. Yes, yes. You know that um, the governor general can remove her? Yes, yes. The, the, there is a... Ex Prime Minister of Australia who recently died. Yeah. And he was removed by the, Prime, by the Governor General in Australia. I while remember. He was a Prime Minister. I remember, I remember. So they're relevant, they're independent and only relevant to the Jamaican people. They are independent before the Jamaican people. Yeah. And all the Jamaican institutions. But they're, not, they're not independent before the Queen. No. So basically, she was glorifying in her, in her um, royal appointment. Yeah. And we Jamaicans have, how, um, between Mr. Williams of Indicom. And Paula Llewellyn, the Jamaican people had to vote for a prosecutor, right? Yeah. Who do you really think, uh, this is a rhetorical question, but who do you really think they would vote for, you know? Yeah, um, I tell you, it, it, it really, it's really kind of disappointing, the record of the government agencies over the last several years, for forever, but especially over the last several years, we are... All agents of the government, when they violate the people of Jamaica, it's like them guaranteed to go through scot free. Right. And the boast of some of them is that you know, you know, almost every liar, their their motivation, especially the criminal liar, their motivation is that uh, I can get off the guy that no other liar can get off. All right. So this is the source of pride. I'm telling you though, what she did... Hold well, on, I'm sorry about it. Let's go for a break and come All back, right. please. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. Quasi, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Open, open up, uh, open up no, a loop. I'm good. Yes, go on. Yes, um, so Jerry, you know, um, in terms of the case with Kentucky Kid. Yeah. The man definitely had made efforts to bring it to the attention of institutions and the public. Yes, of course. Conditions. Yes, yes. No, uh, he has also the natural justice of defending himself. Yeah. So if there are no steps being taken to protect him, yeah. he may have gone to the effort of defending himself against people who he knew was out to kill him. Yes. And therefore, in a sense, that he set up himself as a criminal. Yes. You know? Yeah. So therefore, I, I'm saying that um, for Paul Lowellin to finish the case in such a way that it cannot be brought up again, it's critical because he could have just declared it, I mean, no prosecute, they say. Yeah. So that he could, if, if new evidence came up, it could be brought up again. You know? And I'm saying that in view of all what went on before the killing, you should have left it like that, you know? Because clearly there here was a case that was at least um, worth investigating. Now there's no case to be investigated, Jerry. And, and um, the glee, you see the glee with which them demonstrate, the glee with which them demonstrate their ability to do as they will and, and to personify it as um as the, the law and the constitution and the right thing and so on. The glee, the right. glee. And the police and the government always getting the protection from them state institutions. Let them go on sale, man. That's what you're speaking in front of the correctional officers. Yes, man, because remember, that them thought she did it. That's why they didn't invite her there and that's why she is there. And there because they're there for defend one another. Right, that's why I go, though. Jamaican people need to know that. They need to bring these people under their heel yeah. to turn them from being public overlords All right. to being public servants. And that usually is only that alone can bring them to heel. Exactly. Yes, man. Thank you very much. Yes, I, sir. I, I will only that alone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Please welcome. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, brother Jerry. Oh, go on. Good day. Welcome, sir. That's South Africa... Brother, they were killing girlfriend. Oh, Pistorius. Yeah. A train cut off in foot, you know. A train? Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. The last race when did win. Yeah. Oh, and Bennett Jones did I interview him. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what him tell him. A train cut off in foot. Oh. But that South African black woman. The, the, the judge. judge. The judge, yes. Yeah. She's a roast breadfruit. Well, it, it, it seems as if them pick her specially 
Yeah. Uh, to, emo- thing, to emotionally balance um, the, 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 the public. The boy could have killed the woman so brutally, man, uh, 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 and walk free. Yeah. Imagine you and a woman live for years. Yeah. Rather see you in the kitchen, the bathroom, living room, the veranda, the bedroom. Yeah. You know, must know your woman's vice. Yeah. And you fire the first shot and hear the scream. You know, must know the woman's vice. Yeah. And from him wake up, from him wake up. Yeah. From him wake up um, and, and hear intruder. He's not supposed to concern about where is my partner. See there. Before you start, um, you know, anyway. That, try, that court must try over again, man. But the South African them select that woman there and put her there. It's a sellout business that man. It's a complete sellout. So when it happened, Mr. said the boy is totally guilty. Yeah. And don't, don't, yes, don't, don't, don't them have a history of bad temper? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Respect and honor. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, welcome back to Straight Over. Read some text messages. You, you don't want to know. Jerry, stop this delay about she have Ebola. Because you have worse than Ebola. No, I never said she have Ebola. No. I said she is Ebola. She is Ebola. So you said me have worse than Ebola. And maybe you're not right too. What you have to do now? What you have to do a lock me off? And that would be alright. Not true. Yes. Thank you very much for your text message. Next one. I'm having a problem with the JLTC smart card. My son is 17 and attends the government cap program. He went to have his card topped up. They took it and upgraded to an adult card. I called a customer service and I was given a number to speak to Mr. Clinton Clark. Calling out for three days. No answer. We live in Red Hills. Go to school and work in the Papin area. Both of us Fears amount to seven thousand two hundred dollars a week. My pay is seven thousand a week. Help, help, help! Boy, I can't imagine. Terrible. Next one. Greetings, surgery. We are, we are here listening. Greetings to you from Mr. Is it Miss Miss Sasha Palmer and Mr. Spear. What a world, sir! Keep up the good work. Coming from Nesbitt, Ligani. Yes, thank you very much. Next one. Bongo, I know our senior lodge man, and I was told cartel only mark his body and say things. But he was never in it. They never want him in it. Not true. Next one. Jerry Cliff, you said poor shall have to run with the whole of them. Not true. I should have to find a whole new set. But anyway, good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Go ahead, please. Try again. Good morning, welcome. Straight Up. Well, we just lose two of them. I saw it go. Run it again because we have time for two more phone calls. And we ought to carry the program right through, straight up. For straight up, we have a choice of numbers. 702 702-3470. 702-3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 977-7638. 977-7638. Toll free line 1-888-991-5155. Toll free 1-888-991-5155. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. You know, I play Chichi Boom. <laughs> go up, so go play Chichi Boom, man. Yeah, hey, listen to me, I say. Uh, oh, yeah, car, it's the boy, I know you, man. I next one. Yeah, chichi boom. Okay. All right. Thank, hey, thank you very much. Ma- thank you very much. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, yes, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? Yeah, Mr. Small. Just a concern. Yes, you ma'am. You know I've known of somebody who had killed his baby mother. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Talk a little plainer. You sound muffled. You know what? You can have the flu. Yeah, go on. I've again. known of a, a gentleman yeah. that killed his baby mother. Yeah. And cut her up. And put her in bags, head separate, feet, everything. Yeah. And you know, Mr. Small, it's about eight months long and the man is out on bail. Walking and saying that he got million dollar bail. Mr. Small, what is going on in this country? Can you tell me? You don't know that um, people on murder charge get bail sometimes. I never knew I said I was so frightened when I said the man, Mr. Small, I nearly dropped down. Yeah? So you never know that people on murder charge get bail sometimes? No. Because, because the way home do it, I look for the well, oh. what I get, yeah. 
So where was the body found? In the house, same place where we cut it up. In the bag? In the bag them? Yeah, some yeah. in the bag and some never finished pack out. Oh yeah, so how come um, how, how come police went in there? What alerted them? Somebody came past in with the, with the children and said, it looked like something wrong because they're not hearing no more crying because they're always fight. Oh. Mm hmm so um the, the the crying stopped a few days or, or, or eh? hmm? the crying had stopped for a few days or all the long? crying stopped the very day and somebody got people and see a head put one side you're sure where you're saying yes somebody saw from outside yes look inside and see the head put one side and see jesus christ in the land. so which which area that and the one some oh yeah mm -hmm. so you said the person's on bail Yes, man out and there. Yeah, disturbing, eh? So well, all right. Thank you very much, dear ma'am. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Welcome. Go ahead, please. Just, just a passing shot. Yes, sir. Okay, you may say time finish. Yeah. Uh, I heard a gentleman who was talking this morning. Yeah. About the building. He's only... Talk up, man. Yes, he's only one earth. Yeah. God make. Yeah. But you... <laughs> You ever go? You ever look up in the in in, in the night sky and see how many billions of them out there? Yeah, many planets and many stars. Yes. Those, those those out there is not like Earth, you know. Those no. out, those that you're seeing out there, they are on fire, you know, like the sun, you know. Uh, not all of them. But then how oh, you see? Then are if in the night? How oh, you see it if it's not have no light in it? It's because because this Earth has sent a, a pretty light man for them. When you go up in space and look on this Earth, you ever go up there? Listen, man. Listen, now, just, just listen to this. You have a way of listening. When you go up on Earth, people go to space and, and look down on this Earth. Yeah. Through, through the vegetation, yeah. this Earth, they have green, pretty light. Pretty, pretty. Because all of them is just reflection from the sun. Yeah. And, and, and you stay up on Earth and look up in the sky at night time and, and see. Yeah, you know, for night, you know, for night alone, you can't see them right now if you have a good telescope, you know. You don't know that. No, man, night alone, it's just because of the night now and, and the sun not there. And I get a reflection from the sun. But I'm saying, mm. to say it's only one earth. It is a mock of no, it's earth. No, earth is a name, you know. You may know. It's a it's name. name. It's, a right. it's a place named earth, you know. You this know. Place. What I'm saying, to so. say it's only one inhabited planet. Oh, oh inhabited planet. It is a mock of, 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 the, of the power of the Almighty. Oh. Because because it makes several different people. That's because man do not know how to reach them. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, all right. Thank you. You're gone already? No, well, I'm going to continue, man. Look like you're gone. A no, 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 space, no, no. Space trouble. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Right, you text me. Jerry, the DPP need to go now. Next one. Bongo Jerry, you are one out of a million. What is Chichi Boom? You don't know Chichi Boom? You don't know Chichi Boom? Yes, sir. And you know, say your cause, me know if you can't read that verse, I text me. Anyone want to thank you, I want to thank Tanya Richards, producer. And I also want to thank um, production assistant. Kemisha Campbell, broadcast technician Kevin Williams, straight up till tomorrow. It's Wednesday, November 5, with the 12 o'clock newscast here on News Talk 93 FM. I'm Kayla Wright. Coming up in this newscast, calls made for termination of NHT board following out to many experience purchase. Health Ministry seeking to assure residents that Ebola Center Chest Hospital will not affect surrounding communities. Phase 2 of Portmore's Chicken Gunya cleanup set for this weekend and police seize a 1,600 pounds of ganja in two-day operation. And now the details. Calls have been made for the Board of the National Housing Trust, NHT, to be relieved of their duties. This follows their acquisition of the Trelawney base out to many attraction. According to co-convener of the lobby group Citizens Action for Principle and Integrity, CAPI, Dennis Meadows, the acquisition contravenes the National Housing Trust, NHT Act of 1979.
we humbly assert that the NHT board's decision is inconsistent with the principles of good governance and will not inure to the benefit of the trust and its contributors. The failure of the portfolio minister, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller, to publicly state whether she was made aware of the purchase and met her approval and if not what steps have been taken subsequently to hold the board accountable the nht acquired out many for 180 million dollars and plans to send, spend more than 100 million dollars to upgrade the facilities the trust projects a loss of 16.6 .6 million dollars in its first year of operating the attraction but meadows says by their decision the members of the board have breached their fiduciary responsibilities and failed to be responsible judicious and prudent in the management of contributors funds we believe that the culture of impunity which characterizes this administration will further breed distrust among the citizenry and runs counter to the Prime Minister's stated commitment to hold all public servants accountable for the judicious management of public resources. The Prime Minister failed to hold the members of the 